Hi, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Um, hi. <laughs> let me let me ping the Discord real quick. We we have um, I have things to talk about, you know. All right, Discord. Okay. Yeah, we're good. All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to today's stream. Um, I'll just put it out there right now that I'm I'm really self conscious because I'm I, I have really really bad anxiety right now. Um, so my breathing is a bit, uh, weird. And <laughs> just so, I'm, just so people don't ask me if I'm okay later, I'm like really self conscious about it. So um, it's just anxiety things. I'm fine. I will be fine. But yeah, just so if uh if I seem like I'm out of breath today that is that is why i don't i don't expect it to go away <laughs> but we'll see um hi yeah so as you can see um to to cope yesterday i i kept playing this game even though i had other work to do i i felt like i had to keep playing because it was the only thing keeping me going <laughs> this was my comfort this was my comfort game yesterday um i just I couldn't, I couldn't, like, the moment I, like, shut down the game and I tried to do other work, like, my anxiety just kept spiking and I was like, I need some comfort. So I just kept playing. <laughs> so now I, um, I am, uh, rank, well, I'm rank two, as you can see, but I am, I, I can, I wanted to get to rank three on stream, which I only have to do one thing. So it'll be really, really quick. Um, so yeah, we will do... <laughs> I'll start off stream with like a little little bit of Don Doko Island, okay? Just a, just a tiny bit of Don Doko Island. Not the whole stream cuz I'm pretty sure it's really boring to watch. But um it is incredibly addicting <laughs> to play this game. Like really really addicting. Uh I didn't realize how addicting it was really going to be. And it's like I cannot believe that this is like a 15 to 20 hour mini game that you can play in the game. Uh, why am I not surprised? This is like Yakuza tier mini games, but like I didn't expect this at chapter six. Oh. I maxed it out. Yeah, probably by Monday's stream, Dondoko Island is gonna be clear for me. I can guarantee you. If I'm already at rank 3, and I also can put a huge dent into rank 4 already, too. Um, yeah. It's crazy how much I played. <laughs> so yeah, that's, uh, that's a thing. I'm very thankful that I had this to play yesterday. Uh, but that being said, I didn't do any Sujimon. So I'm still... Uh, I didn't do any Sujimon since beating Queen, and I wanted to get to rank 30 and do the next sub-story in the Sujimon lineup, but, like, Dondoko Island got in the way. Oh, Dondoko Island, it's it's be it's quiet because it in the pause screen, it doesn't uh, have any music, so I don't know. There's no music in, in the pause screen. I'm not sure what to do about that. Yeah, yeah, the menu, like, really fades out the music. And if I don't go on the menu, like, time keeps going on Dondoko, so... Uh, I guess I could get off the island. Yeah, let me, let me get off the island. I haven't left the island in, like, 5,000 years. I have, I have been here for way too goddamn long. Alright, heading back to Hawaii. <laughs> yeah, dude. Dondoko Island was just like the perfect thing I wrong? needed, honestly. Okay, now I can like... There, perfect. Now we have this music in the background. <clears throat> you can't do your island anymore? Oh no, that sucks. Yeah, no, this game is very, very, very large. It genuinely amazes me. Whenever I saw, like, I kept on playing Dondoku Island and I kept seeing the scale get bigger and bigger, I'm like, Jesus, how did they freaking do this? 
but it just kept going and it keeps on getting bigger. It's crazy. Uh, yeah, no, I didn't do any Sujimon, so uh, man, I'm not down the Sujimon rabbit hole anymore like I was. Because Dondoko Island kind of got in the way. Kind of got in the way. But yeah, there's a good chance that I'm, I finish by Monday's stream. <laughs> um, there is no Friday stream, by the way, this week. I will be away for the weekend, so no Friday stream. We'll just have tomorrow. Oh, my gosh. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Welcome to the stream! Hello, hello! It could be a self-standing spin-off, and yet it's in the base game alongside five other video games. I know. This really could be its own, like, side game. It's incredible. Or, you know what they could do is they could monetize it further by being like, this is a game that you could play, like, on your mobile phone. Like, I could see it being a mobile game that you play, too. They could do that, but no. It's just in my base game. <laughs> Uh, did you play the demo? I'm assuming you mean FF7, and hell no. I'm not, I'm not looking at FF7 with, like, uh, my, no. <laughs> there, there's way too much footage of FF7 Rebirth out, and I'm really not happy about it. No. I've seen two trailers, and that's all it's gonna be. I'm, there's way too much fucking footage. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I would love a Yakuza mobile game. Could you imagine? Oh my god, wait, I just thought of that. Like, uh, the scale of it. So imagine they come out with, like, a Yakuza app for your phone. Like, a game. But it's it comprises of all of the minigames. <laughs> Sorry. It, com <laughs> it comprises of all the minigames from, from zero to, like, eight. Like, all of the minigames. Just the minigame. So that includes, like, the cabaret minigame in Zero. And then you just get every... Every one. That would be crazy. I, I just, like, I would love that so much. You like my cardigan? Thank you! It's one of my favorites. I love it so much. It's my favorite color, too. Like a lilac purple. I could not believe I found it. I would... Sorry, my breath. Um... Uh, I found it at, like, a thrift store. I walked into a thrift store, and I saw it on the shelf, and I was like, I pointed at it, and I didn't even check the size, which probably was a mistake, but I just said, I want that. And they took it off the shelf for me, and they, 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 they let me have it. And it was only 12 bucks. <laughs> so I love thrift stores for that reason. <clears throat> You and Langi have the same favorite color. Aw, Langi has amazing taste. But yes, yes, the the lilac purple, like the, yeah, that's my favorite color. I just like a light purple. It's so pretty, it's so pretty. Yeah, 12 bucks. 12 bucks for this really cute card. But recently I put it in the wash and I lost one of the buttons. So this button is missing. I have, there's three. So I'm really sad about that because these buttons are really, really cute. It's like a pearl flower. So I have to replace all of the buttons now because I'll never be able to replace that one. So I'm really upset that it came off in the wash. It was there when I bought it, but yeah. They're not on that well and I lost it. So I, I'm down a button. Don't look at the middle. <laughs> We have money? Yes! Because of Dondoko Island, let me tell you how much money I have. Are you ready for it? Oh, wait, I don't want DJ PP stew. Okay, this is the how much money I have right now. 45,000 dollars and 510, wait, five, 45,510 dollars. 
Not only can I afford the the vacuum Roomba thing, I can afford that sub story now, but I can afford school. I can go to school. And this might be a big trivia day. <laughs> yeah, so I paid for my tuition for school. I don't know if I paid for like the full thing because uh, I think I might need more money, but we're about to get even more money because I, when I rank up to Dondoko Island rank three, which I'm about to do, I'll get even more money. So it doesn't end there. I am rich. <clears throat> God. I should just start playing the game. I'm like really self-conscious right now. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I am I am not okay. Just straight up. I'm trying to be, but I'm not. <clears throat> Oh yeah, I also wanted to go back in the in the labyrinth too. I wanted to do more Sujimon in the labyrinth. But but I I, I can't. Come on. I, there's just there's, there's so much to do in this game. <clears throat> oh, you don't want to see my build for Dondoko Island. It's um It's a time. <laughs> Sorry, this is my really dumb request, but pre please don't do the breathe command. That kind of makes me worse. All right, I'm with Nick. Dude, there's so much shit in this game. I, mm. Anyway, oh great, let me give you a tour of Dondoko Island. Okay, you guys want to see it? It's, um, it's... It's a time. Okay. It'll it'll come up. Okay. Okay. Wait, before I go, I need to adjust my playlist. Okay. What kind of what kind of music do we put on right now? Um Uh Let's see. Let's see. Oh wait, we have a new Segwaves. We have DJ PP Stew episode six. Oh shit. I'm just gonna put all these songs and it's just gonna play all of them. I don't even know half of them, but like, can't be that bad, right? All right, there we go. Songs, we got them, let's go. Wait, I want, I want free shit. Wait, don't go. I, I want this free stuff. Thank you. <laughs> that's all. That's all I wanted. That's was, that's was we're done. <laughs> New segways on Dondoko Island. By the way, I love this animation so much. It's fantastic. There is nothing better than riding a dolphin and onto my island. Okay, everybody. Don't worry, don't get your hopes up too much here. Okay. So, um, how's the best way to show you? Maybe like this screen? Um, the one thing I never got rid of is my, my initial toilet. Like, it's staying right here. Um, and I put another one with it in case somebody really, really had to go. Like, it's it's just right here. And then there's another one, too. Um, so, like, yeah, this, this, this is like a, like a thrift store, I guess. I don't know what to call it. And then you get into, like, the actual good shit here. So, um, you know, we got some stuff. 
I... yeah... there's... there's stuff. <laughs> Toilet, John, yeah. Um... Got some cars on display. Got a lot of stuff. Um... Got some buildings, you know, trying to rake in the money. I'm, I'm trying here. Okay? So, that's that. Hey. Hello. I need to give everybody gifts, but... um. Okay, first things first. I'm gonna go get rank three right now, okay? Here's the deal. We're gonna go get rank three. I only need to do one more thing. I saved it for stream. Because I wanted this momentous occasion to be, uh, you know, on stream. So all I have to do is buy this bridge, and we are good. Cars on an island? I mean, it's bougie. <laughs> I'm trying to make a resort, so... Oh, I can fish here now! New fish to get! Oh my god, how many harpoons is it going to take for this fish? It's a chonky boy. Ooh, big one. Ooh, shit! I'm basically a pro at Dondoko Island right now. I hope you guys uh, know that. My training... <gasps> my training uh, is paying off heavily. Oh, I didn't mean to shoot that one. Oh, fuck. There. Hey, a rare one! I'm the number one Don Doko streamer, thank you. Nice. I take I take pride in that. My harpoon is only level two, so I do have to strengthen gotcha. strengthen it at some point in time. What is this little fucker? Oh my god. I hate when they just swim in circles. Nice! I have to come back to it? You haven't had time for Dondoko Island. Oh my god, you're missing out. This game is way too addicting. Also, the name of that fish. I have no idea. That can't be- you can't convince me that that's a real fish. Nice. Okay, so to be rank 3, all I have to do is fight people up here. I have to win a battle on the lake, which is, um, weird. Enjoyed your time with this type of genre, or is it still not for you? Wait, still not for me? What do you mean? <laughs> this is my genre that I always play, and I love it so much. Or do you mean, like, this minigame style? Like, Animal Crossing type of style? If that if that's what you mean, um... Yeah, I, uh... It depends on the game, because, like... I don't like Animal Crossing, but I like Stardew Valley. And I don't know the difference between them. I've thought about this before. Um, I need goals. Whenever something is just like pure decorative, uh, decorating type of game but has no goals, I don't have any interest. Like, I need goals. Animal Crossing has goals for like the beginning of the game and then you don't have any goals after that. <laughs> um, but like this game, this mini game has like constant goals that you have to achieve. So it's fine. Like, as long as I have- as long as I have goals to achieve, I think that's, like, the baseline. I like these games as long as there's that there. <clears throat> Stardew Valley is much more progress-oriented. It is! There's always something- like, I've- I've put hundreds of hours into Stardew and there's always something, like, to work toward. For a long time, and I really, really like that. The battle is on. I'm just getting okay. That, I swear to God, I'm better at this game. I, I, I usually never get hit. Um, I promise. Woo! My god, these guys are brutal! Okay. Feels more rewarding to actually be pushing towards something. Yeah, yeah. 
I need, I mean, there's a lot of like just creative games out there. I think Minecraft is like that, but I've actually never played Minecraft, which is probably incredible. Um, I've never played Minecraft, so I don't know, but every time I watch somebody play, it doesn't seem like there's any goals. Like people are just like making houses because they can. And I like, I can't deal with that. I need stuff to do. I, I'm not like a decorator type of creative person. So I don't like that. Minecraft sort of kind of has a goal. I know nothing about Minecraft, actually. This lake and shack look familiar. Maybe it's just my imagination. You can obtain plenty of local specialties here every day, so visit this area regularly. Oh, okay. And now I can be rank three. So simple as that, I wanted to save that for stream. Um, This kind of looks like my house. <laughs> All right, there should be like new bugs here, right? Gotcha. Nope, that's the same bug we've had before. Did I see another bug? I've never been up here, so. Oh, that's a bug. Nice. The only goal in Minecraft is to make giant holes. Oh. Wait, why? Gotcha. You just like dig deeper? Wait, I heard there's dragons in, in Minecraft. Is that true? You dig deeper and then you find like a dragon's lair. Is that, I don't know if that's actually true. Holes lead to treasure. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. One thing I'm obsessed with in Stardew Valley is, um, okay, I can't actually go in there. Uh, in Stardew Valley, I really like the mining. Heart. I love I love the mining dungeon. Welcome. All right, let's go upgrade to rank three. I've worked hard for this. Minecraft stream. I might one day just to try it because I feel like I'm the only person in the world that hasn't played Minecraft. <laughs> it feels weird. We have another house. Crystal Minecraft server? I, I don't think you guys actually want that. <laughs> <clears throat> You've built even more facilities and lodgings to increase satisfaction. This place has become popular of late and has gotten more foot what? traffic. You pass! I am now a three star resort, baby. Let's go. I'm so good at this game. Oh, I'm not the only one that has never played Minecraft then. Ooh, okay. Totally. 300,000 doko bucks, jeez. I am loaded, I have 1.1 million now. Although it's gonna go away real fast. Oh, I already have that done. Oh my God, I've been playing way too much. We could even yes. do rank four real quick. Oh my God. All right, the bridge leading to those two areas is broken and the cave's also blocked off. We will have to deal with all that first before we get to clearing both sites. Bridge construction and clearing the blockade. Can you handle both of these? You bet your ass I can. Got it. All right. We'll keep installing new facilities, of course, to increase satisfaction, but now popularity is going to be even more important. I'm already popular enough. Hmm. Look into more PR. Shooting a commercial, oh God. Okay. Hmm. We're shooting a commercial, wait, this is real? Oh. You can now purchase a commercial time slot for from Subaru. Subaru. <laughs> if you shoot a commercial for the island, its popularity will increase. Save up your doko bucks and go see Subaru when you can afford a commercial. I don't need my popularity to be up right now, though. Let's try to get lots of visitors to come and spend their money. Yes, we could do that. <laughs> I, okay. I'm technically ready. Oh my god, I just got 50,000. I'm so rich! 
much. I have $95,000 now. I can afford so much school. I can afford so many things, y'all. This game. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, okay, but okay, one thing I- I'm not gonna stay on this island, we're not gonna do a whole day, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna do the rest of this off stream, as I've been doing. It- this isn't that entertaining to watch, I am well aware. Um, so... Let's see... I'm trying to... I'll take some bikinis. I made some of those for some reason, I don't know. Also, these look like really shiny dicks. I don't know what to give people as gifts. I've been just giving, like, people cheap things and souvenirs. And, like, calling it a day. Y'all, don't hum me. You know it's real. Like, they look like shiny dicks. Hello. Don't lie to yourself. That's exactly what they look like. I know it's a shiitake mushroom, but, like, it looks like a dick. Ooh, big one. Oh, I just whipped out my bat. Hey. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa! Here's a bikini. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Aloha. Konnichiwa! Konnichiwa. Why did you have to make me notice that? I don't know, because I'm an asshole, probably. Hello. Alright, here, I have, um... I wonder if the guys like bikinis. Like, I haven't been giving the bikinis out to the, to the, to the males. But, like, what if they want one? I should oblige, right? Oh my god, the announcement, like, actually scared me. Um... Whoa! Wait, I just realized! I think this is supposed to be Raiko from the Cabaret minigame? Wasn't there a Raiko in the Cabaret minigame? I think it was one? I don't remember. But anyway, I like the description. It says, she loves using her 50,000 yen body cream. Like, okay, what a flex. Okay, girl. I want to be her. 50,000 yen. That's fine. No problem. Oh wait, this is like a spawn point for a veggie, which we need veggies. <clears throat> Good morning, Emma! She's not in the Zero mini game. she might be in one or two. Yeah, I, I, no, she's not in Zero because I remember those girls more than I remember the other time, but I think it might be one or two. Like, Reika sounds like a familiar name that I'm supposed to remember. Yano, Yano. I wanna be a girl. Ooh, 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 ooh. Such a good song. <gasps> I need that song on my playlist. Also, DJ PP Stew. I can't believe we weren't listening to it. Hula, aka Hula Mike, aka the Great White Howley. Here with me is the Hawaiian hunka hunka burning beef himself, the one, the only DJ PP Stew. You hey, DJ PP Stew? Hey, how's it, everyone? Nice. You know, much fun as we like to have gotcha. on the show. Sometimes you gotta get serious. Sometimes you gotta pay nice. respects. And that's what we're doing today. True blue, gotta do it. And blue gotcha. is right, because we're talking about the blue. The big blue. Moana the big blue. Inika herself, the Pacific Ocean in all her grandeur. Not to mention Not this lovely bad. island we call home. Aloha, oi, what, was it Hawaii, too easy how you want to train them? The one and only Big P. Now let's hear from a <laughs> local. So when you think of Hawaii, uh, what comes to mind? Yeah, what doesn't? The surf, the sun, the food, oh, 
Mother nature at every turn. That's yes, true. Yes, that is true. And let us not forget the people. Okay. The culture. Never big Mike. Spirit of aloha. The aina. Spirit of aloha, big Fine. P. Right. Hawaii's got it all. But if you're going to enjoy, you got to respect the spirit. You got to spread the true. aloha. True, okay. true, true, true. Well said, my brother. That's why right. we here at Segwaves have come up with a handy little list on how to do just that. So whether you're a local or just visiting, we want to help everyone get the most out of the island. If not, just a smidge more than you might have gotten before you hear what we're about to tell you. Mm -hmm. A couple little reminders to take it to the max. So, without further ado, sure thing, let's just jump right on in. Mm -hmm. You need to have reef safe sunscreen. Saves you it wear sunscreen. That's true, that's true. Hawaiian food. You gotta try it all. It is worth it. Hawaiian this game food. really makes me want to try Hawaiian food, that's for sure. Last episode. That's right. Point my boy over here with the poi. My <laughs> boy, boy. The poi boy. Yeah, that's what they called me back in high school, bro. <laughs> and you know, you come to Hawaii, you gotta wear the slippers. Not the flip flops gotcha. like you call them on the mainland. But the sleepers. <laughs> I, like I like it. I have like four or five pairs myself. <laughs> Not the flip flops, the sleeper. We don't need any trash. You gotta nice. be respectful no matter where you are. This is Mother Nature. She can take care of some stuff, but not other stuff. If you drop the wrong thing in the wrong nice. place, she might just track you down and kill you. You gotta keep the oceans clean, brah. That's what gotcha. I'm Also, sport an aloha shirt, brah. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Like slippers, you gotta embrace that spirit. That's why I have this one on today. Kinda loud. <laughs> I could barely. What was that? I could barely hear you over the shirt. <laughs> Who said pineapples and sharks don't go together? <laughs> oh, this reminds me. Who said pineapple, pineapple and pizza go together? Food, you gotta visit one Lua. Oh yes, luau's are amazing. Full <laughs> spread in the food and everything. Okay, now we covered some do's. Let's cover some don'ts. First, don't if you see the lava rocks. Do not take them, okay? Natural souvenirs are a big no-no. Oh. That's true. You know what else is a no-no? What's that? Touching the turtle. Oh, yeah, don't to touch turtles. That's very true. Don't touch them. You and other times, just, just leave them alone, okay? They're in their element. You're visiting them. Leave them alone. And if they don't fight you, oh, you better bet your ass that one of the locals will bust you up, huh? That's true. That is very don't true. Don't touch the turtles, okay? Oh. Decline a lay, you know. You don't ever decline a lay is what I mean. Don't ever decline a lay. Okay? Yeah, don't ever decline a lay. That's very true. Right? You just accept them, bro. You know? You just and accept them. I really appreciate you clearing that up because my brain went to a completely different place. And I, I don't think I was the only one. Nah, nah, nah. We try lay you everywhere in Hawaii, okay? Just it's a welcome gesture. Share the aloha, bro. I, yep, yep. Still thinking the same thing. But anyway, so, uh, oh, someone else, something else you don't want to do. You don't want to wear your shoes into someone else's home. Oh, true, 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 true. true, true. Don't do that. Don't do that. Wait. No! It reset! All I did was just go somewhere else. AKA Hula Mike, AKA the Great White Howley. Here with me is the Hawaiian hunka hunka burning beef himself, the one, the only DJ PP Stew. Hey, Heidi, how's it? Hey, how's it, everyone? You know, much fun as we like to have here on the show. Sometimes you gotta get serious. Sometimes you gotta pay your respects, and that's what we're doing today. True blue, gotta do it. And blue is right. Because we're talking about the blue. The big blue. Moana Paki Pika herself. The Pacific Ocean in all her grandeur. Not to mention this lovely little island we call home. Aloha Oi Hawaii USA cuz. The one and only Big P. Now let's hear from a true local. So when you Knock think it of off. Hawaii, hey, uh, what stop. comes to mind? What does it? Surf, the sun, the food, or oh. Mother Nature at every turn. Mother yes, Nature! True, forget the people, the culture. Never Big Mike, spirit of aloha, the Aina. Spirit of aloha, Big P. Right, well, he's got it all. But if you're gonna enjoy, you gotta respect the spirit. Gotta Hold on, there's too much noise. I'll turn it back on in a sec. Hmm? 
Who the hell are you? All right, time to beat them up. Didn't I not just say that I was not gonna spend an entire day here and then I did? Is that, did that, that's just what happened? I'm sorry, I'm really addicted to this game. It is so hard to stop. Like, I'm pretty sure I have a lot of problems. I keep on not taking this seriously, my god. There we go. <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe this is why the game's called Infinite Wealth. Because it's Dondoko Island. This is the Infinite Wealth. This is the, the money-making place. Alright, the cave is now open. Time to break down the trash! I swear to god I'm leaving after this, guys. I really am. <laughs> no! You don't want to watch this whole stream, I know you don't. You want to watch me fail at trivia, that's what you want. I'm going to go get so many exams done with all the money I have. Oh, and the, the sub story that I can now afford, too. So many other streamers said the same thing. Hey, at least I played it off stream, so I got pretty far. I got pretty far since yesterday's stream where I unlocked it. I just want to make the cave a little bit cheaper by getting all this trash out so I don't have to spend as much doko bucks. You know, you know. I think I also have to clear out the forest though, so I have to buy that bridge and then start clearing that out. This takes a lot of effort to clear this out, oh my god. I'm gonna be spending all night just clearing this shit out. Almost out of the F. Almost. Okay, there it is. Got E. And that was an entire day of, of Don Doko. All right, I'll show you guys what I do at the end of every day. We go. Oh, I didn't collect my resources. No, I did. I did. All right, we go here. And I buy everything. I make everything that I possibly can. Oh, someone's old photo. Wait, I didn't see that. Pocket circuit with Kiryu. Oh my God, that's Yakuza Zero Kiryu. That's all the way back in Zero picture. Oh. Now, where do I put this? Oh, I didn't see that. I'd say I outdid myself. Oh, I don't have enough materials for the bear. A fishmonger stall. I don't have sea bream. <clears throat> Wait, what did you say? You didn't care much for Don Doko until guests became a thing, then it became super addicting. Oh, you needed like the people factor. I'm I'm not gonna lie, I don't give a fuck about the people, which is not something I probably should be saying out loud. Um, but yeah, um, they're cool. But man, I just feel the need, like my OCD just wants to clear everything, you know? Like I just I just gotta clear it all. Where do I put this? Bike rental station. Oh, I need more stone. Goddamn it. Black coffee truck, can't afford. Okay, uh, old bus stop. Let's see, I can't afford anything, I think. Yeah. We could do whatever this is, a vinyl sheet for some reason. Or we could just, you know, that's it. All right, I got some time. 
<laughs> oh boy. My place is a giant mess. I'm so sorry. Don't just pretend like you don't see anything or something like that. Here, I'll put the van like right there. Wait, did that actually do anything? Yeah, satisfaction's up, okay. I don't think I can fit another car. This car is too damn big. Why is this car so damn big? Ah, damn it. I guess I could put the parasol here. Krista, what are you doing? Honestly, bitch, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. All I do in this game is fuck around and find out. Like, oh, you like your surfboard set? Oh, here you go. I don't, this isn't even, no one's even gonna like that, but whatever. Here we are. Bless this mess. It's a, it's a giant mess, but I, 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 you know what? <laughs> <laughs> the inside's even worse! <laughs> I do not decorate. I am here to be practical. I have a giant water tank, though. Um, I'm here to be practical, people, okay? So y'all can't make fun of me. Like, look, I'm gonna put a traffic cone on, on this desk, and you know what? It's gonna make my points go up, but I don't care about anything else. Um, this picture with Kiryu on it is gonna be right next to my bed because that's where he deserves to be. Wait, maybe on this side? Like, right next to my pillow. Oh, I can't do that. Okay, right here is gonna have to work. Right next to the bed, I stare- I wake up and I stare at Kiryu. Every day. Just pretend that you don't see it, okay? Just- just pretend. That's all I need you to do. I spotted a blood stain. Yeah, I did make one of those. Don't ask me why. I I don't know. Yes. All right. <laughs> Waste disposal. All right. Well, oh, the turtle. Looks like Kamikichi also gets excited whenever we get visitors. Oh. Well, well that's good for the turtle. I need to put another house on this island too. Bro, I have I I I'm doing good in this in this game. I can also already get see. rank four almost. This is crazy. I'm busting my ass in this game. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Yeah? For real? Oh no, oh no. Mysterious parrot. What? Hold tight, Saya-chan. I'll get rid of it for you. That's not it. You've got it all wrong. This is Ping-Wing. <laughs> Ping-Wing. He's a stray parrot Saya and I used to take care of. I don't know what he's been up to ever since Saya and I left, though. Ah, he flew off somewhere when, uh, when you two were gone. He probably didn't like living here on the island when it was only me and the boys. He's always preferred girls anyway. Never cared for an old man like me. <gasps> mm -mm. Hey. Shut up, geezer. You shut up, damn bird. I'll deep fry you into a nugget one of these days. Oh, that sounds yummy. Man, this island's got a lot of con- <laughs> All kinds of critters, so why is this guy called Penguin? <laughs> he's always tweeting, ping ping! It's like he's terminally online, so Penguin. Okay, okay. I think he used to be someone's pet. Maybe his previous owner owned a PC shop or something? He must have picked it up from there. He also knows a lot about PC stuff. Strange parent, isn't he? Okay, okay. Wi-Fi, router, USB, GPS, BB... What the fuck? So you weren't just pulling <laughs> my leg. Penguin likes to fly around too, so he knows quite a bit about other islands. If you want to check out some other resorts, you might be able to get there if you let Penguin lead the way. Damn, a bird of many talents I see, so I can scope out someone else's resort, because I'm definitely interested. It, it'll make for a good reference. Anyway, we'll look for Penguin again, so he'll become he'll be coming with us to Don Doko Farm. If you need him for anything, please come by the cabin. On oh, online mode. Help you visit other players' islands. Way get out. 
I can visit other people's islands? Yakuza Crossing! What? Dude! This game is fucking insane! <laughs> y'all, we need to have a stream just dedicated to me visiting y'all islands and judging them. How about that? We need to hire him as a mod stat Chris Hall. I would love <laughs> to judge other people's islands. I didn't know that this was a thing. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, you can absolutely come to my island. I don't know if there's a limit, though. Okay, we got to get off this island, guys. I, I cannot be here all day. Like, I've already played this game way too goddamn much. This is the largest mini game. <laughs> Holy fuck. There is no end in sight, and we have been playing this mini game for like eight hours. It's a whole ass game inside a game. This is crazy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I don't know how the online thing works. I'll t I'll take a peek at it off stream. And uh, yeah, maybe that would be fun to check out other people's islands. We could do like a sign up form kind of thing. All right. So I have money. You know what having money means? Going to fucking school. We're going to school. You saw one guy who had nothing but golden Majimas? I need the golden Majima statue. And the golden Kiryu statue, because yeah, that's super base. Just have your island full of golden statues. I love that. Alright, we're gonna save. We're not gonna save scum, we're just gonna save. Welcome. You didn't leave the island until five stars? Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. I mean, to be honest, I would probably be the same way right now. But for stream purposes, I know it's really boring to just watch me do that all day. So I know that I need to do other stuff. <laughs> Have you decided on which exam you'll be taking? All right, we got to take a lot of exams. I, good thing I can afford school now. All right, sports proficiency. I have zero sport proficiency. Like, I am not a person that watches sports, knows anything about sports, so I, I'm i gonna fail. But we're gonna try. Like don't laugh at how much I don't know about sports. Before the start of a soccer game, children called player eSports hold hands with the player entering the pitch. Which of the following about player eSports is false? Oh, Jesus. They fulfill the child children's dreams, they help carry the ball, they promote fair play, they motivate the athletes. I don't fucking know! <sighs> They promote fair play. Each ice skating sport has specific skates that are suited for them. Which of the following images shows skates more suitable for speed skating? Oh, I think actually the first one. I think I know that. Wait, no, but the roller skate. Wait, shit. It's either one or three. Dom, help me cheat. You know skates. One or three. One? That's what I thought. My instinct was one. I don't know. Different clubs are used in golf to get the ball into the hole in a few strokes as possible. Which club would you use to make the ball roll when it is on the green? A putter. I know that one. Bowling is a sport where the player rolls a ball down a lane to knock down pins and score points. However, if the ball veers too far left or right, it will fall into the trench, preventing it from knocking down pins. What is the trench called? It's called the gutter. I know that. I know that. In cue, in cue sports such as billiards, the game begins by positioning the balls together in a rack. Then shooting the cue ball to scatter. What is the name of this opening shot? Isn't it called the strike shot? Wait, that's not an option. The break shot? Break. It break, break, break. It's break. Yeah, it's called a break. Oh my god. Guys, I, I kind of knew three of those questions. Wait, what if I pass? Wait, wait, wait. Did I pass? We pass! Let's go! Oh! Yeah! <laughs> Yo, let's go! I don't know what that first question was, though. That was bullshit. Oh, it was four! Speed skating are those really long skates. Ah, god damn it. So figure skating is the ones that we were... Okay, ice hockey, inline skating, and speed skating. Holy shit. So they help carry the ball. I don't know anything about that. But yeah, we knew the last three questions, so that was the savior. Pass is a pass. We did it. 
welcome. We just needed three out of five right. Have okay, next exam. exam you guys ready for it? The Hawaii Proficiency, tier one. All right, don't fuck up. I say this like you're taking the exam. All right, due to its height above sea level and geographical isolation, various countries have funded several facilities at Ma Mauna Key's summit. What were these facilities built to observe? Probably volcanoes? Probably volcanoes, because Hawaii has a bunch of volcanoes. I'm just gonna guess that, it's educated. What is the name of the traditional Hawaiian dress that's said to derive from the type of gown in introduced by Western missionaries in the 1820s? Oh, Jesus. The first one sounds familiar, so I'm gonna go with the Aodai. I don't think that's right though. What holiday is celebrated by Hawaii, but not other states in the US? King Kamehameha? Ocean day? I, I don't know, Hawaii things, Aloha day. It's, that's definitely not it. Which of the following choices is the state bird of Hawaii, which has been involved in so many roadside accidents that warning signs such as the one shown here have been erected? What? I don't know any of these. These are birds? I've never heard of any of these words before. Nele. I have no idea. Hawaii is a frequently hit by hurricanes, which cause extensive damage. Which hurricane Iniki, Iniki hit Hawaii in 1992? It destroyed farms and mass. Which animal was unleashed into the wild and crossbred with it, the feral population? I don't know. Turtle. I, I, we failed that so hard. I, I got every one of those wrong. No, I didn't know any question. I don't know anything about Hawaii. Well, $500 just got wasted. Man, American education system sure is something, ain't it? There is a total of 12 observations at or around Mauna Kea's summit, housing 13 telescopes, including Japan's own Subaru telescope. So, okay, they're for astronomical objects. That's interesting. The name of the dress is called the Mu Umu U. I've never heard of that. Wait, King Kamehameha Day is real? I thought it was a joke. I I thought that was a joke answer. <laughs> it was real? <laughs> no fucking way. That's their first king? I had no idea. <laughs> I didn't know. Holy shit. Yeah, I just thought of like Dragon Ball Z and Kamehameha. But nah, bro, that's a real person. Okay. I feel like I just got trolled so hard. <laughs> okay. So the bird is called a Nene. And the bird that got... Wait, the animal that was crossbred into feral population was chickens? Really? It knocked down many chicken coops and domesticated chickens that escaped mixed with their feral counterparts. Oh. Okay. Time to take the exam again. Better luck next time. No, I'm not oh. talking to anyone. <laughs> Welcome. Have you just used the... Okay, what is the name of the dress? That. What holiday is celebrated? King Kamehameha. Astronomical objects, we already won. The Nene, -ne, we already won. The Hawaiian language uses a 13 letter alphabet of the following choices, which is not used in the Hawaiian alphabet. S? I actually don't know. S was educated, guess. We passed, though. Oh, we even got the last one. That was a new one. Yeah, S. Because uh, I kind of, like, broke it down. Like, 
because the word aloha has A and O in it, and W, I think of like Waikiki. So I I was like, oh, so W has to be, I couldn't think of a word that had S in it. So I was, it was a little bit educated. Or Hawaii itself, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Welcome. Okay. Have you decided on which exam you'll be taking? I love trivia games so much. I'm so glad they brought this back from the first game. Okay, marine life. Are you guys ready to fail an exam about marine life? Because yep, I'm about to. I don't know shit about marine animals. <laughs> Which of the following is the largest marine animal, mammal, uh, animal in overall size? A blue whale? I'm gonna say a blue whale. That sounds big. <sighs> Penguins are famous for being flightless birds and exceptional swimmers. Which of the following species is the largest in size? The king penguin. Wait, no, the emperor penguin. Wait, shit. <sighs> I think, I thought it was the king penguin. Oh shit, I used to know that. I learned it by going to a zoo once. <sighs> King. Which of the following images is of the clownfish, a species known for their symbolic relationship with the anemones? Finding Nemo taught me one. Taught me that one. Of the following organisms, which one does not belong in the same animal class as the others? Penguin, whale, dugong? Wait, isn't that the name of a Pokemon? That's a Pokemon. I don't understand. I... I don't know. Why do turtles appear to shed tears from their eyes when they lay eggs? To alleviate symptoms of dry eye, to heal eye injuries because they feel sad, <laughs> to regulate salt concentrations. I'm gonna say salt because that's the only scientific sounding thing. Holy shit. Finding Nemo! We got one right because of Finding Nemo. Yeah, Dugong is a Pokemon. Yo, I pass! Let's go! First try! I am such a good guesser. Finding Nemo is over 20 years old, bruh. That's, that's not fake news. So Blue Whale was right. Emperor Penguin! God damn it. We got Nemo, right? Penguin. Okay. And we got the last one right. Okay, we did pretty good. Seal and Dugong. I figured like Dugong was, ba I mean, Pokemon are based on real things typically or like inspired by real things. So I was like, oh, it's kind of like a seal thing. But I didn't know what category of animals they fall into. Are they just called the seal animals? I don't know. I'm <laughs> but apparently penguin is something else. Oh, penguin would be a bird. Not a, okay. I don't, I don't know. You know what? I don't know. Have you decided on which exam you'll be taking? Okay, alcohol expertise. Okay. There is a whole exam on alcohol. This is great. Yes. I'm going to fail this so hard. I actually don't know that much about alcohol. A facility that produces beer is called a brewery, which is the one that wine are Okay, they're called wineries or vineyards. Wait. The vineyard is like, you know, you have the vineyard that houses the grapes. I guess it has to be a winery because like the vineyard is the grapes and the winery is where the wine is actually made. Okay, winery. When alcohol such as wine, brandy, and whiskey is aged in barrels, a small amount evaporates through the wood during the aging process, resulting in a slight loss. What is this phenomenon called? What? The goddesses share, angels share, devils share, witches share. Oh my God. The aging process is called the devil share. I'm just gonna say devil. Sugarcane was once grown extensively in Hawaii. The sugar from these plants is even used to make certain alcohol, which uh, one of the, one that a Hawaiian royal enjoyed so much that he set his own still. What is the name of this alcohol? <sighs> alcohol that has sugarcane in it? Wine, rum, whiskey, brandy. Um, wine? I don't know. Ah, shit! I'm gonna say wine. <sighs> what does it mean to order a single or a double whiskey? That's the shot, isn't it? How many whiskey brands to mix, how many glasses to order, how much ice to add, how much whiskey to pour. I thought it was whiskey to pour. 
Like you're getting a double dose. Uh, the, the drink shown here is a popular cocktail most commonly made with dry gin and dry vermouth, then garnished with an olive. This is a martini. <laughs> <sighs> I don't know if I passed that. Oh! <laughs> First try! Let's go. Alright, what ones did we get wrong, though? Oh, we barely passed. So it's called the angel's share. This phrase is said to have originated in the past when distillers noticed a small portion of alcohol missing from the barrels and concluded that angels must have drank it as an offering. That is very strange. Rum? Wait, there's a, okay, rum with sugar cane. Aside from drinking, you can also cook with rum. It is often used in sweets such as rum raisin ice cream, which uses raisins soaked in rum. Right, oh. But I mean, like, I don't know. I could see wine also being a thing, too. So confused. I'm learn I've learned. I, I learned some things. We learned some things. But I got my exam correct. Move. Okay, I'm going to save my game again. It's been, you know, that's a lot of exams that we just passed. <laughs> Welcome. Have you decided on which exam There is still many more exams, y'all. Okay. The next one, World Landmarks. I I'm going to admit here. I am a filthy, filthy American. My world knowledge like most Americans is very small. <laughs> Most people that grow up in America only know about America. And we don't learn much about the world. <laughs> so I'm not expecting to pass this one. Which of the following images depicts the Louvre, a famous museum in France, which houses the, uh, the Mona Lisa? Oh, fuck. I have no idea. An art museum that has the Mona Lisa? Am I supposed to know what this looks like? Because I fucking don't. You know what? It... <sighs> that one looks right. The charging of the guards is a formal ceremony in which soldiers currently on duty, the old guard, are relieved of their sentry posting by the new guard. At which iconic landmark do royal guards wearing their <sighs> signature black bearskin caps carry out this ceremony? Palace of Versailles, Royal Palace of Cambodia. I'm gonna say Buckingham. But, like, this is probably really embarrassing. <sighs> Statues in Germany modeled after the town musicians of Bremen depict four animals. Which of the following is not one of the four? What the fuck? This is stupid! A cat. Probably a cat. Cats are always left out of statues. Wait, a pigeon, though? Why would a pigeon be in a statue? Wait, I'm taking the, pi <sighs> the pigeon. Fuck the pigeon. The Colosseum is a famous amphitheater at the center of Rome. Hey, I know that one. It was used for what purpose during ancient Rome? It was a gladiator arena. <sighs> the Palace of Westminster is a famous landmark in the UK. Located on the north end of the palace is a clock tower. It's the Big Ben, right? It's, it's called the Big Ben. I am an amazing guesser. I only got one wrong. Get out. Wow. The only ones I did know were the last two. The other ones were guesses. Holy shit. Welcome. We are actually gaming. Have you decided on which exam you'll be taking? Don't worry, guys. I still got ninety-three thousand dollars. I can afford 
all of school right now. Like Which boneless cut of chicken is best for muscle building due to its high protein and low fat content? I have no fucking idea. Wing, probably? Hmm. Leg? Oh, it was leg. Which of the most- what is the most appropriate way to reduce soreness from mu muscle aches after an intense workout? I'm gonna say stretch and relax affected muscles. No, continue working out. Continue working out. That's what I did in dance in university. Whenever I was really sore, you just kept working out. <laughs> of the following vegetables, which has the most nutrients and is also most effective in helping build muscle? Broccoli, probably? I'm gonna say broccoli. Which of the following exercises cannot be performed without equipment? A French press? What? That's a French press is like a coffee machine. I don't understand. That's not. That's not even a thing. Which of the following is not a part of the big three workout, which helps improve core strength? The big three is push-ups. Wait. Deadlift. Bench press. Probably. I don't know. Bench press or deadlift? It's one of those two, I think. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say deadlift. <sighs> I we did we did pretty bad. Yeah, French press is like a coffee thing. I look, man, look. I I don't know. I don't know shit. He's so disappointed. Oh, jeez. Oh, breast? Oh, I'm an idiot. Um, don't ask questions. Okay, uh, continue working out. Oh, my first- I was gonna say stretch and relax the affected muscles. But I- I- I went from my personal experience with training and dance in university whenever I went really, really hard. It's like, every day, every fucking day, I was sore. But the one thing that made it go away was to just keep dancing and keep working out. Like, eventually, I just got over the pain. You just get over your soreness and you just, like, you get used to it. And it just goes away. Wait, the French press is actually a real thing. Hold a dumbbell or other type of weight behind the head, then extend the arms straight up. Its main purpose is to isolate and stretch the triceps. That's a real thing. And it's a push-up? Get the fuck out. Oh my god. You just live with the pain? Right, well, you on, you just get used to the pain. Like, eventually, if you work through your muscle soreness, you just... I don't know, I feel like... I thought it made your muscles stronger. That's what my professors told me. <laughs> they told me it would make me stronger. And you know what? It felt like that. <laughs> Which of the following foods is said to be the best energy boost and can prevent muscle cramps? Bananas. Potassium. Potassium prevents muscle cramps. <sighs> if the, if, uh, in which of the following sports do athletes place particular emphasis on lifting weights with the neck muscles? <sighs> lifting weights with the neck What the fuck? Play pigeon shooting? I don't fucking know. I don't know what that is. Protein supplements are useful for building muscle. When is generally the most appropriate time to consume them? I actually don't know. <sighs> I thought I was told after you exercise, not before. I think that's what my physiotherapist told me. Like, if I have a protein bar, it should be after I work out, not before I work out. I'm just gonna say... Oh. <sighs> I don't know. Within, it might have been within. Okay. Yeah, it might have been within 30 minutes of working out, though. Okay, I passed. I'm really bad at this one. Congratulations! Congratulations! 
All right, let's see. Banana we got right. So F1 racing? F1 racers need to be able to withstand G-forces that experience- Oh, that makes sense. So their, like, head doesn't snap? Their neck doesn't snap? Mmm, whiplash. That's actually really interesting. Oh, it is within 30 minutes of exercising. Ah! After I said- after I saw the over one, I, I didn't actually read the within 30 minutes, and I- Man, I knew that one was a- but yeah. God damn it. Welcome, Bryce. Let me at him. <laughs> Welcome. All right. Have you decided on which gardening proficiency? Let me tell you something, guys. I know nothing about gardening. Nothing. I'm really bad at it. The two times that I tried to have a plant in our apartment died both times within two weeks, and where we bought the plant. The person said that it was a very easy plant to take care of. Well, mine died. So, I don't know. I don't fucking know. I think I overwatered it. That, I think that's what ended up happening. Like, it, I think I think I actually drowned it. I, I think that's what happened. I don't know. Okay, but like so needless to say, this is going to go bad. The ideal seeding method dif uh, differs depending on the type of plant. Which one would be appropriate for sowing sea pumpkin seeds? Oh! Stardew Valley taught me that. I think it's like three. Oh, maybe two though. They need to be spread apart because pumpkins are big. And then they like... Yeah, I remember in Stardew Valley, it taught me that like pumpkins will like... You know, they need to be... I'm, I'm saying three. It is important to consider what season a flower will bloom in when gardening. Which of the following flowers bloom in spring? Tulips are like summer. Those are tulips. Sunflowers? I actually don't know what season sunflowers are, and I don't know what the, these two flowers are. I, aren't these fall? That's a fall flower. I thought tulips were a summer flower. Our tulip festival is in like May. That's like not spring. I don't know. Um, the the sunflower often symbolizes summer and blooms uh, during July, and into autumn. Right. Which period is the most appropriate time to sow sunflower seeds? Uh, April to June. I don't know. <sighs> The four-leaf clover is a rare variation of the regular clover and a symbol of good luck. How many leaves does a normal clover have? Doesn't it have three? Maybe it's five. Oh, Jesus. I don't know. <sighs> Which of the following plants requires a support in order to grow vines? Hydrangea? No. Lavender? No. Pansy? Morning glory? Um... Oh, shit. I think pansies are fine. That's not an emblem thing. I'm just huge. Fuck out. What is this? Bacchus, thank you so much for becoming a member on YouTube. I really appreciate that. I passed? I didn't know any of those. Yo, I'm a master guesser. I am so good at guessing. The first one is the one I got wrong. Wait, what? Point seeding. To grow larger plants, use the point seeding technique. To establish dense plate plant spacing, use broadcast seeding. Lastly, to grow smaller leaf and root vegetables, use stripe seeding. Since pumpkins tend to grow big, point seeding would be best. Really? I know nothing. I got tulip, right? I got sunflower. Okay, wow. Wow. Okay, question five was process of elimination. I am familiar with lavender hydrangeas and pansies. And I wasn't sure about morning glories. So that was an educated guess. Okay, so, okay, that somehow worked out. <laughs> I'm all fired. I don't know. You're welcome. Have you decided on which exam you'll be taking? 
underworld studies? The darker parts of society that are unnecessary to know about, but beneficial to be aware of. And this is gonna be bad. <laughs> Which of the following groups was not part of the Tojo clan? Nikio Consortium. <gasps> That's Sarah! The Kijin clan, Hakuho clan, Tai Heisis. Oh my god, I'm a fake Yakuza fan! The Nikio Consortium was with Sarah, though. They technically are a third party. They were not. <sighs> Which of the following images portrays a young captain of the Ryudo family in Okinawan Yakuza organization? This is Yakuza 3, and it is Rikia. I think his name was Rikia, right? <sighs> oh, look at baby Daigo! He's so young! <laughs> Which of the following Omi Alliance members eventually became the fifth chairman? Uh, oh god, I do forget his name. Tarada? I think his name was Tarada. This is like, oh my god, am I a Yakuza fan? That's what this quiz is right now. Am I a true Yakuza fan? Which of the following images portrays Hoshino, the second chairman of the Seryu clan, one of the criminal organizations? It was this old guy, right? I think it was two. Not the homeless guy, <laughs> the chief. <laughs> I forget who two is. <sighs> the Saejima family was part of the Tojo clan before it disbanded. Their patriarch Saejima was notorious for single-handedly. Oh my god. Oh, how many people were killed in the rubber bullet massacre? I don't know how many. <sighs> I think it was 17. Shit. The rubber bullet massacre. 18? 19? 17? Fuck! <sighs> I'm a fake fan! <laughs> I'm a fake fan, no! If I get any one of these wrong, I have to commit seppuku for not being a real Yakuza fan. Did I get any of them wrong, though? That's the question. Oh, no. Yeah, it is a trick question. They said how many people were killed. Technically, no one. <gasps> it was 18! No! He took on 20 members and killing 18 of them. Oh my god, I did not remember that. Oh, I did remember Rikia's name. The Kijin clan? Wait, they considered the Nikio Consortium to be a part of the Tojo clan? I thought... I, I The Nikio Consortium was Sarah's consortium. I don't understand. Kazuma hired them. Didn't he? No. I thought that they worked in the shadows, like they weren't affiliated with anybody. Uh, They were still a part of this Tojo? Oh, I thought that they were a third party. I thought their whole point... I thought the whole point of the Nikio Consortium was to not be affiliated with anybody. They were just like a third party that did dirty work for whoever. I'm a fake fan. They were the black ops of the Tojo. I thought that they were just black ops of anybody that hired them. Okay. Damn. But yeah, no, I don't remember the Kijin clan, like at all. That was Nishitani's clan. I am a fake fan! That was Nishitani! Huh? I'm fake! I'm a fake fan! I forgot! I forgot what he was a part of! Oh god! I used to hate studying when I was in school. Turns out learning new things can be pretty... I am so sad now. <laughs> Thanks. Was she flirting with me?
Huh? Kasuga kun? The way you were talking to Lorichan just now, it almost seemed a bit flirtatious. You better not have been arranging some sort of rendezvous! Calm down, she was just congratulating me for working hard huh? lately. Sure, and that's why you walked away looking so smitten! Don't insult my intelligence! I've gotten certifica certifications by the score and Laura Chan's never once congratulated huh? me! This isn't right! It's discrimination! Exclusion! A sham! I followed all the rules! <sighs> keep your voice down. Do you ever think you might, it might be because you keep causing scenes like this? I don't know what I should do. Please give me advice, kasuga -san. I don't have advice. My love life has been far from rosy, okay? Believe me. To think of the depths of being forced to sink. <sighs> you mean asking me? I am the depths. Sheesh. I'd be honest with her about your feelings. That's always best, isn't it? Damn. I'm going now to confess my love for her. In this day and age, the heart is too often thwarted by compliance and hostile behavior. But I say love conquers all. Only, I don't exactly feel ready at this exact moment. Maybe with a little bit more time, slowly influencing her thinking. Oh my god, damn. This guy. <laughs> He's a lost cause. Alright, you guys. Chat, choose my fate. We could do one of three things right now. We could take a break from taking exams. And we could do this substory, the, uh, the, well, the, the, the road Roomba, basically. Or I could do this substory. Or I could just take more exams. I could just do all of the exams right now. Unlock more jobs? Uh, we, that's also an option. We could unlock more jobs, too. Uh, more jobs, too. Exams, exam- Oh, wow, you guys really want exams. <laughs> More exams! <laughs> Yo! We like trivia around here, is that what I'm getting? You guys, you guys really like the trivia. I like the trivia, too. All right, we'll just finish it out. Let's do it. I got money. The trivia is so fun. It's unnecessarily fun. Welcome. Who said you could leave the exam dungeon? Okay, okay, okay. But we'll do the other things afterwards. Have you decided on which exam you'll be taking? All right, Sega proficiency test. I I'm not too confident about the Sega proficiency, okay? I I'm a fake Sega fan. You this is going to be embarrassing. The Dreamcast storage medium was innovative during its time and it's featured an LCD screen and minigame capabilities. What is the name of this medium? Pocket virtual memory unit? Pocket memory unit? Virtual pocket? Virtual pocket? Hmm. I'm gonna say virtual! In 1993, I wasn't even born, man. Release what, what is widely recognized as the first 3D fighting game, which later became it became its own series. Um, what is the very first game in this series? Oh my fucking god! This one? I have no idea what the others are. Oh, I like Super Monkey Ball. What is the protagonist's name? Oh. Fuck me, I'm a fake fan. Isn't Mimi the name of the girl? Gone Gone? I don't fucking know. <laughs> I don't know the name of the goddamn monkey. <laughs> what are the which of the following video game consoles is the Dreamcast? I never had a Dreamcast! Wait. I have a Sega Genesis and a Sega Saturn. I don't remember what the Dreamcast looks like. I've only seen it a couple times. It is the one thing that I've only seen a couple times. It's not that one. This full body motorcycle racing game has been in operation since 1985 and features a bike shaped cabinet that players would ride on leaning left and right. What is its name? The hard on. <laughs> <laughs> I 
the part? I don't know these. I, I, I said it was going to be a disaster. There's no way. I am, I am horrendous at this stuff. Like, I grew up, if this was a Nintendo quiz, I would ace it. I grew up with every Nintendo thing possible growing up. Sega was not in my realm at all. I got them all wrong! <laughs> Shit, dude! Okay, it's called the visual memory unit. Okay. I was a Nintendo. Oh, Virtua Fighter 2. Oh, God. So the very first Virtua Fighter was that one. Number three. That's not an emblem thing. I never played a Virtua change. Fighter game in my life. Yo, Joe Amon, thank you so much for becoming a member on YouTube as well. I really appreciate that. Oh, wait, I didn't look at the answers to the other one. Fuck. I'm feeling great. <laughs> Welcome. I, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> Have you decided on which exam you'll be taking? I pressed the wrong button. Like <sighs> okay, it was this one. Puyo Puyo is a puzzle game series. Uh, which of the following characters has family that runs a grocery store? I don't know this game at all. It's, uh, um... You run a grocery store. Well, this girl is holding an apple. So, having an apple in your hand? That definitely tells me that she, her family runs a grocery store. Mm. Sakura Wars, there are a number of divisions that serve to protect Tokyo. For instance, Flower Division operates as a frontline unit to combat demons, which division specializes in intelligence and undercover operations. I don't fucking know. I'm gonna say Rose. Mm. Sega's UFO Catcher is a crane game in which players operate a claw arm and attempt to win prizes, which of the following is the first UFO Catcher. The first one? These are really tough. The first one looks ancient. This full body motorcycle. Oh, uh, yeah, we, uh, mm, I got it wrong by saying virtual on. So we're going to say drift on. I passed. I am so good at guessing. So we got the first virtual fighter. Oh, we got this one. See, did you see how smart I am? The apple told me everything I needed to know. So moon division was the answer. UFO catcher. Yeah, that one looks like an ancient, uh, <laughs> an ancient crane game. And this is the hang on. Okay. I can handle anything. <laughs> Welcome. I on which love trivia. Okay. <laughs> Sega proficiency tier one. Let's go. You'd like Time to get even worse. Sakura Amamiya is one of the main protagonists in Sakura Wars. When is her birthday? What the fuck? Even if you're a fan of this game, how do you even know that? I don't even know Goro Akechi's goddamn birthday, okay? Like, and that's my favorite character of all time. What the fuck? <sighs> Which of the following is the controller for the Mega Drive, a video game console that was originally released in Japan? It's not one, and it's not four. Three? <sighs> I'm gonna say. Super Monkey Ball, what is the name of the island that all the monkeys live on? Banana Island, I think? <sighs> 360 is a motion simulator released by Sega that could spin 360 degrees on two axes. Which of the following images is of a... 360 arcade cabinet. This one looks like a 360 one. <sighs> Which of the following game consoles were, was released between the Genesis and the Sega Saturn? Wait, Genesis Mega Drive? Wait, are they the same thing? I didn't know that. The Sega, Sega Genesis, Sega Mega Drive are the same thing. Oh, that means I got the other question wrong. I didn't know that. 
And I also don't know the answer to this. <sighs> I I thought that they were two different consoles. I know the the controller for the Sega Genesis, so that means I definitely got it wrong. <gasps> Oh my god, I got her birthday right? What? Yeah, no, I didn't know that the Mega Drive was the Sega Genesis. I know that it's number one. God damn it, I did not know that. The console later released in North America as the Sega Genesis. Ah! Akatsu's birthday know. is June 2nd. Thank you. For the hundred minutes. Feel dumb. Oh, it's called Jungle Island? Yeah, I knew that. I, I spends every day living peacefully on Jungle Island and thinking about bananas. Oh, okay. Yeah, that one. And that's the Dreamcast. I never had a Dreamcast. Okay, so that's what it looked like. And the Game Gear. Okay. Got it. The more you know. We're learning a lot. Welcome. <laughs> Y'all, I still have $90,000, by the way. So, we can absolutely do all of the exams. Like That's not an emblem thing. I'm just here. Dude, another member today. What's going on? Thank you so much, Jack Garland, for becoming a member. Really appreciate that. Okay. Um, 360 is the motion simulator. Okay, this one. <sighs> Valkyrie Chronicles 4. I want to play these games. Which country's military does the protagonist Claude Wallace enlist in? I don't know. I want to play Valkyria Chronicles so bad. <gasps> the Kingdom of Dryer. Wait, that sounded so stupid. Which of the following characters is Jeffrey from Virtua Fighter? I don't know Virtua Fighter. Which one looks like a Jeffrey? This guy or you know, two or three? Two or three like looks like a Jeffrey. I'm going to go with three. He looks like more like a Jeffrey. <sighs> Sega has released very various hardware over the years. Which of the following game consoles was a remodeled version of the Sega Mark III? Ooh. <sighs> Maybe the Dreamcast? No idea. Which of the following consoles is the Mega Drive? Uh, whatever, I'm so mad I didn't know about the Mega Drive thing. I'm Damn, never gonna get Sega geez. down, dude. What a shame. Somebody at Sega is watching my stream now, right now, just shaking their head like, oh my god, fake fan. And I'm just gonna forever just live in disappointment for the rest of my life. United Kingdom of Edinburgh. Got it. Oh, see, Jeffrey, number two. That was my second, uh, that was my second pick, okay? Also, I just realized for the exams, I'm sorry, I should have realized this beforehand, but I feel like for the exams, I should put my uh, camera on this side so you guys can read it. I'm smart. Um, okay. So the master system, the Japanese version of the master system was also known for integrating an FM chip, which reproduced game audio found in arcades as well as dedicated port for 3D. Oh, okay. No more sponsors. Yes, yeah, I guess not going to sponsor me anymore. <laughs> Welcome. It's true. Have you decided on which it's true. I've accepted it. It's okay. Okay, master system. Uh, what was it? Jungle Island. Tails is a. Yeah, we know who Tails is. What is the name of the airplane that he pilots? I never played a Sonic game. You know what? I bet it's called the Tiny Tornado. <sighs> The X tornado. Uh, March 19th for the birthday, and Jeffrey, this dude looks like a Jeffrey. So good at this game. I've literally never played a Sonic game in my life, yeah. I've always wanted to play a Sonic game. I've always wanted to, but I never have. 
first try. Thank you. I know. I don't know how we did it. We got one wrong. It's so it's called the tornado. The red biplane actually belongs to Sonic. Tails is the one who flies and maintains it. Because Tails is super based. Hi, no go. said a representative here. Seeing how, uh, skilled you're at taking our quiz, we'd like to say that we are taking our business elsewhere. Thank you for your time. No! Less than three. You're welcome. No! Sega, no! <laughs> Have you decided on which exam? No, it's all that? over for me. It's all over. Damn. All right, Honolulu City Proficiency. How well do I know the map of this game, basically? Let me tell you. I don't. Gonna, this is gonna go great. Which crazy and funky food delivery? Super crazy delivery! <sighs> what is the name of this location? Aloha Beach. Right? Uh, I'm doubting. <sighs> I, uh, Aloha Beach. <sighs> what is the name of this establishment? Oh, that's the Revolve. <sighs> Which of the following images is of the Anaconda Center? The Flamingos. It has Flamingos. <sighs> it's that one. The travel agency Aloha, uh, Aloha Happy Tours has their own unique mascot. What is the mascot's name? DJ PP Stew! <gasps> no, it's just Aloha <sighs> Happy, I'm pretty sure. Wait, no. Wait, fuck. Wait, no. I think it has a different name. Shit. I'm fake fan. Ah, oh, fuck. <sighs> DJ PP Stew, they're the same person. Does Sega still ship post on Twitter? I don't know. Yeah, sometimes they do, but honestly, Sega TikToks were popping not long ago. I haven't seen one in a while. Yo, I am so good at this video game. I know Honolulu City so well. <laughs> Welcome. Have you decided on All right, next exam. Gem proficiency. I don't know that much about gems, honestly. So You'd like to My name is Crystal, that's all I got. Which gem is famous for forming within the tissue of a living thing? Oh, pearls. Which of the following rings incorporates a gemstone that looks different from sapphire, but is actually another variety of the same mineral of sapphire? This is ruby, this is emerald. This is pearl. Ruby and emeralds. Isn't it ruby that is the same, but different, same mineral? <sighs> Which of the following jewels must be carefully maintained and stored to protect it from dry air to preserve its beauty and luster? Um, pretty sure it's a diamond, but we're going to go with that one. Which of the following is true about diamonds? They dissolve in hydrochloric acid. Some variants can float on water. They cannot be synthesized at a factory. They can break when struck with a hammer. They don't break when struck by a hammer. I don't think they can be synthesized in a factory. Wait, no, they don't they have to be? Fuck, I don't know. I don't know! Ring sizes follow in an international standard and are side a number or symbol. Japan uses uh, numbers such as one and two. What does the UK use to designate ring sizes? Wait, the UK uses a different thing to... UK, what do you do for ring sizes? What the fuck? My ring size is seven. What the fuck are you doing in, in UK? I don't know. Do you use Roman numerals, you fucking weirdos? I don't know. Greek alphabet. I don't know. Yeah, I uh, definitely failed that. I know nothing about gems. <laughs> I'm from the UK, we use numbers too. Yeah, so what? <laughs> the UK uses magic runes to ensure any ring grows or shrinks to fit the wear, oh my god. 
emeralds have to be put in dry air to preserve beauty and luster. I did not know that. Okay, so you can break a diamond with a hammer. Diamonds are commonly known as the hardest natural material in the world, but hardness is only a measure of resistance to abrasion and not resistance to breaking. Diamonds can technically be broken with a direct hit. But um, I thought I remember learning that like the way that diamonds are cut, it's a straight cut. I forget, there's like a science word for that. The way that gemstones cut whenever you hit them. It's like a, sometimes when they break, it's like a, a, a fault line. No, it's not a fault line. Shit, I don't know science uh, terminology. But like it, it breaks straight. It's not scratch resistance. No, it's, it's how they crack. It's how you cut, it's how you cut gems. So the, uh, different gems cut and break in different ways. I thought diamonds were one of those where if you break it, it always breaks in like a very smooth, flat line. Cleavage, is that it? Cleavage sounds familiar. Anyway, I, I just remember learning that in school at one point in time, but anyway. <laughs> So you guys use the Latin alphabet. Uses the letters A to Z from the Latin alphabet to designate ring, ring sizes. A C is close to a one on the Japanese scale. What? Okay. Still good to go. <laughs> Welcome. Damn. Have you decided on which exam you'll be taking? Different cleavage patterns. I think it is cleavage. Yeah, that rings a bell. That term rings a bell to me. Okay, so yeah, you guys use the Latin alphabet. Pearl. Gold jewelry is marked with notations such as K14. Yeah, carrot. To indicate the... Yeah. Which of the following notates pure gold? I actually don't know. Is it 100 carat and higher? Or... No, 52? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what notates pure gold. I'll just say 100. <sighs> Which, what is the ring called when it is offered to a significant other during a proposal? An engagement ring? <sighs> Which of the following is true about diamonds? Um, they could be struck with a hammer, apparently. Sure. No idea. I passed though, yay! We passed! You know, welcome to... Welcome to Yakuza, where I have spent two hours so far doing Dondoko Island and taking exams and not looking at plot literally at all. So, oh, 24 carat is pure gold? So 24 carat means the product is 100% gold. I didn't know that. I don't know, I don't, I know like a vague understanding of carat, but yeah, <laughs> whatever. Have you decided on which exam? All right. Sujimon Mastery. Oh, Jesus. It's not a very popular category, and most of the questions can't be answered by the average person, but somewhere out there is someone who can answer. And that someone is me. You'd like to take this. Which of the following skills is used by this Sujimon? They can't recruit. Emergency call, maybe? No. Rep the set. <sighs> Dump Chump performs a wide area attack using what object? An oil drum steel frame is his homie. <laughs> <sighs> no, I think it's an oil drum. <sighs> the Crass Kringle Sujimon represents Santa Claus. He also performs what action similar to Santa Claus? Uh, he gives presents, he flies on a sled, he has reindeer. Um, I don't remember. We ran into this enemy once. He might give presents? <gasps> Which of the following Sujimon has a self-damaging skill called Air Burst? Uh, the, the, this one. The, the ball. 
Rebel Yeller attacks by swinging around what object? Uh, an iron pipe? I failed. knowledge I have none of that I'm I have none of that this is gonna be okay okay since 2007 aerospace has certified various foods to be consumed in space before that only foods approved by NASA could be brought into space which of the following did Japanese astronauts request to get approved only to be denied by NASA <sighs> not though <sighs> The Crab Nebula, part of the constellation Taurus, also has the designation M1. I don't know what the fuck that means. Sagittarius is M8. What does the M stand for? <sighs> <sighs> Magnitude, magnetic field. Maybe magnetic field? So, like, you can verify the location? Like, that. Uh, magnetic field <sighs> kind of makes sense to me. <sighs> Which of the following is true about Earth's moon? Its gravity is one-tenth of Earth's. Uh, there are active volcanoes. The rates of rotation and revolution are the same. It is the largest moon in the solar system. It is definitely not the largest moon in the solar system. Um, I don't know if the gravity is one-tenth. Let's try the gravity. I don't know exactly what proportion of gravity it is, but one-tenth may sound right. <sighs> What was the name of the comet that flew so close to Earth in 1986 that it was visible to the naked eye? No idea. Halley's Comet? I've heard of that word, so I'm gonna say that. How much does a spacesuit that will allow an astronaut to survive outside the spacecraft cost? Holy shit. I want to say one billion yen. In yen, yeah. Had to think about that. I think it might be ten billion, though. They're very, they're very expensive, obviously. I passed? I passed? What is going on? Nato. So it's Messier is the initial name. So Messier, Messier, uh, the French astronomer Charles Messier, and the, the catalog is set. Okay, that were observed and reported by him. Okay, that's all it stands for. Wow. So the rates of rotation and revolution are the same. I thought I remember learning about that in school, but I wasn't a hundred percent sure if I remembered that right. So uh, I didn't. I didn't say it. So one billion yen. It's actually one billion yen, wow. And it's Haley's Comet. Okay, cool. Gravity is one sixth, I, I think. That is, uh, yeah, oh, one tenth does seem like too much. To the point where you would probably jump and then you would just keep going and you would never actually land back down. Have you decided on which exam you'll be taking? All right, world history. Not my thing, really not my thing. I don't know shit about the world and especially history, my weakest point. Not a history person. So this is going to be a disaster. Tidal lock. Oh, there's a term for that, interesting. 
Since the end of the 20th century, leaders of great powers have held annual meetings to discuss and coordinate solutions. Oh, um, the summit, G7 summit. Which of the following works of art was painted by Leonardo da Vinci? This is really embarrassing. I really should know this. I don't know who painted the load of Mona Lisa. I just realized that. Hey, Dom, do you know who painted the Mona Lisa? Do you know who painted the Mona Lisa? It was Da Vinci? I'm an idiot. Why am I blanking? <laughs> I'm saying it was that. Okay. The Baroque architecture was popular in Western Europe from the late 16th century to the er early 18th century. Which of the following structures was not built in the Baroque style? Oh God, I learned about this in university. We had a we had like a whole month where we started Baroque style, and I don't remember any of it. Literally nothing. No idea. Which Ukiyo-e artist is famous for the woodblock paint print series, the 36 views of Mount Fuji? No idea. Um, which name looks fun? Kitagawa Udamaro. That one looks fun. Galileo was an Italian physicist who is often referred to, uh, called the father of the modern science. Yeah. What other field is he known as the father of? Archaeology? No. Observational astronomy? That sounds right. I don't know. I don't know shit. I don't know anything! I told you guys, world history, my weakest thing. I passed! No, not with Dom's help. I was gonna say the Mona Lisa, okay? I was gonna. I just wanted him to verify. I felt so stupid. I literally blanked. I forgot who painted the Mona Lisa. I am a dumbass. Oh, the Notre Dame. Oh God. Okay, I really should have known that. I don't know what this building is, the Carl... Carlskirch? Where is that building? Uh, Palace of Versailles and then St. Paul. I don't know about St. Paul Cathedral either. Uh, Katsushika Hakusai. I, okay, I learned something today. I actually passed. Can you believe it? I don't know who this is. It's, it's a question of what building is not Baroque. The Notre Dame is not Baroque. Yes. My oh, Italian ass and soul are exhausted. Well, too bad. We're gonna keep going because we're almost done. We are almost done. We have Trivia King, the exam of all exams, right here, right now, okay? Like to take this exam, correct? All of our knowledge that we have gathered in the past, like, I don't know, I feel like it's been an hour. <laughs> it all comes down to this. Medusa, a monster in Greek mythology is a, a snakes for hair. What happens to those? You get petrified, you turn to stone. Um, who is the almighty god of the sky and thunder in Greek mythology? Which artist painted notable- Hey, that's Van Gogh! That's Van Gogh! I know that one! Which of the following is a chameleon? A lizard known for its ability to change its color. Isn't it two? Or is that an iguana? No, I think that's two. I think iguana is number one. A gecko is three? Wait, I'm pretty sure it's two though. Chameleon. Which of the following vegetables will float in fresh water? I don't know. A lotus root? I don't think carrots and potatoes float. No, they do. Potatoes do float. Whenever I cut potatoes and I put them in a pot of boiling water, they float. 
Wait, do they? Fuck, I don't know. No, they sink. They they definitely sink, and I'm an idiot. Lotus Root. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm so happy. I only got one wrong. The last one. Pumpkin. Wait, pumpkins float? Get out. I would have never expected that. You would think because they're so big that they, they, they actually float? Yeah, they're hollow. I didn't think about that. I just thought about its size and I was like, oh no, there's no way a pumpkin would ever float. <laughs> Welcome. Oh. Have you decided on which okay. exam you'll be taking? Oh, Trivia King tier one. We're getting into the big leagues now. You'd like to Name the extreme sport that originated from French military training without assistive equipment. That's not an emblem thing. Parkour. I'm just huge. Sotaro, thank you so much for becoming a member on YouTube too. So many new members today. What's going on? Thank you so much. <laughs> I don't know. Credit card sizes are determined by an international standard. How many sheets of high quality copy paper does it take to make the th thickness of a credit card? How the fuck do I know? I'm gonna say 20. No, 15. 20? 20. In the 20th century, a time when railroads, mines, and the steel industry were some of the most dangerous environments to work in, what movement aimed to reduce workplace hazards? <sighs> Health and safety movement? I don't know. <sighs> Pigeons have been used as messenger birds due to their ability to fly over extremely long distances and innate homing abilities. What does the pigeon use in order to find its way home? <sighs> Constellation pigeons? Constellations? Pigeons aren't that smart. Regional insect species? Earth's magnetic field. Scenery, 100 kilometers away. I don't fucking know. I really don't know. What is the Guinness World Record held by the cucumber, a vine plant that is considered a fruit by botanical standards? Lowest calor calorific value, highest, or lowest nutrition content? <sighs> I have no idea. I I have not a fucking clue. No idea. I failed this so goddamn hard. Damn. Oh jeez. What a shame. I like this guy. Every time I fail, he just makes me feel okay. Like he's tapping your shoulder, giving you that comfort like I don't know, in my mind, he's like, you know, you're gonna get him next time. Oh, wow, I actually got two right, though. So it's 10. Okay, 10, 10 high quality copy paper, got it. So the safety first movement, and this is Earth's magnetic field. I was gonna say that, but it felt weird. Pigeons are able to use magnetoreception? meaning they're able to detect Earth's magnetic field and utilize it like a compass to determine which direction to travel. Experiments have sh also shown that attaching magnets to pigeons causes them to fly erratically. What the fuck? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> and I got this one right, how? Holy shit. The pigeons are nuts. <laughs> Welcome. What the hell? My brain wants to say that that's true for most birds, though. Maybe, maybe not. Because in my head, I'm like, how do birds always know to fly south in the winter? And then they fly north again for the summer. Well, probably because of temperature, though. Because they're like, oh, this area is cold, so fly this direction. Oh, it's warmer here. I don't know. Maybe it's a different system. Have you decided on which exam you'll be using? <clears throat> Pigeons. Okay, Earth's magnetic field. 
Clothing stains caused by oil from food can be wa used difficult to wash out. What type of powder? Um, baking soda. Or baking powder. Shit, I did- I just did this like a few weeks ago. It's baking soda. Because baking soda has the chemical compound that needs to get stains out. I'm pretty sure it's baking soda. Not powder, yeah. <sighs> Uh, in an orchestra, wind instruments are divided in, into woodwind instruments. Which of the following is a brass instrument? You know, this is really embarrassing because I played the saxophone and I'm pretty sure it's a brass instrument, but you would think after playing the alto saxophone for like eight years, you would know the answer to the, this question. But clarinets are a, I'm pretty sure, no, it's a trumpet. Trumpet's a brass. Fuck, I don't know. Wind, it's not. <sighs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> I should know that! I played the saxophone! <sighs> I'm so embarrassed! I really should know that! Like, I'm not... I'm... I'm... I... That's so embarrassing, dude. <laughs> I was a woodwind. Wait, saxophones are woodwinds. I, re I remembered it now. I think it is trumpet and I got it right. It's it's because you play with um a reed. If you if your instrument has a reed, you're a woodwind, I think. So clarinets and saxophones, I think that's the factor. And like flutes are wind instrument because you're just. <laughs> I, I I think I think saxophone is a woodwind because it's it, you play it with a reed. Oh my god, I got all of them right. Okay, I was right. Oh my god, that was so embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, I got it! Woodwind produce sound from a vibrating reed, but brass instruments produce sound from the buzzing of the player's lips. Yeah, the trumpet. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh my god, I redeemed myself afterward. <laughs> that was so embarrassing to just not anything. be able to remember that. <laughs> nah. No, it's not brass. Man. I really do feel like an idiot for struggling with that one, though. <laughs> Welcome. I feel quite dumb. Have you decided on All right, the Trivia the King special tier. We have arrived. The final exam. Wait, it's not the final. It says 19 out of 21. So there's another one after this. You'd like to okay. What was natural indigo used to dye the first jeans? <sighs> Why was it used? The color retains heat well? No. <sighs> the way it reacts to cotton because indigo is readily available? I honestly have no idea. I have no idea. <sighs> What are the slashes made across the top of French bread in fixed interval call? Wait, there's a name for that? They're, they're called something? A crevasse. I don't know. Because birds have beaks instead of teeth, how do they break down food? They swallow rocks to crush the food. They raise the temperature in their stomachs. They have many types of powerful stomach acids. They soak their water in food. I don't know. This is a weird... I'm... What is the name of the toxic alkaloid, what the fuck, which is mainly found in the ovaries and livers of pufferfish? Strychnine. That would be insane if it was strychnine. The sex of many living things is determined by genes, but for other species, it is determined by external factors. <gasps> I learned this! Wait, fuck! It's really hard to determine the gender of a turtle, and I just learned this because I went to an aquarium in Florida at my grandma's place, and they taught me about how to find out the gender of a sea turtle, and I forgot what they said. What determines the sex of many turtles? I don't know. The incubation temperature, incubation time, eggshell size. Um, let's say temperature. I don't know. I don't know. I don't fucking know. Maybe it's the time. I don't know. Fuck. These things I just learned about too and I forgot. Ah! I got, I, I failed that. Uh-uh, -oh, there's no way. Damn. Oh, jeez. I have Shame. no idea. I don't know shit. Ugh.
Uh, have you ever tried playing the trumpet? Uh, yes, I have. I'm really bad at it. I can do it, but I'm bad at it. Okay, because of the way it reacts to cotton, when heated, most dyes would permeate the fabric, but natural indigo would stick to the outside of the threads instead. After every wash, tiny amounts of dye and thread would be washed away, achieving a softer feel that made the durable jeans. That's interesting. Okay. Uh, it's called a coup. Cooper means to cut in French. Aww. Oh, God damn it. If only I knew more French. I should be taking my classes. So I got this one right. So the birds swallow rocks to crush their food. And the toxin in pufferfish tetro... Tetrodox... The... Tetrodotoxin? Has 850 times the toxicity of potassium cyanide when ingested. What the... Fuck. The Japanese fire-bellied newt and the floral egg crab are also known to carry this new turtle. That's insane. So for turtles, for sea turtles, egg incubation temperature. Egg incubation temperature. Okay. This is known as temperature-dependent sex determination. Female sea turtles hatch at warmer temperatures and male hatch at lower temperatures. That's crazy. Welcome. Yeah, pufferfish just sounds terrifying. Uh, <laughs> Have you decided on which exam you'll be? Sounds really terrifying. Okay, we know this one. It's called a coup. Mm. Which of the following statements about snails is false? They can asexually reproduce. They have over 10,000 teeth. Oh my god, I hope not. Their mucus can dissolve metal. They can safely traverse a razor blade. What? Their mucus cannot dissolve metal. Please, you cannot. You cannot be fucking serious. Because birds have beaks, uh, they they swallow rocks to crush their food. All right, uh, incubation temperature. Okay, we should be able to get that. Ten thousand teeth. I can see having like tiny ten like ten thousand tiny teeth on a snail. I really hope that's not true, but I can see it for some reason. Congratulations! Oh, Congratulations. Nice one. All right. Apparently, there's one more. We got them all right. Their mucus can dissolve metal. Okay, so snails actually have ten thousand teeth. Snails are capable of self-fertilization and do not need mates to reproduce. Their tongues are also lined with thousands of teeth, which they use like a file to scrape up food in order to eat. Their mucus also provides enough protection that they can traverse a blade without getting cut, but it isn't capable of dissolving metal. Yeah, that'd be insane if the mucus could dissolve metal. <laughs> that would be crazy. We can't lose. Okay, wait! Uh, there's a picture here. This is it. That came out well. Yo, I didn't know that. Chitose, you're in my way. Okay, now what? You're welcome. Have you decided on which? Oh, okay. There's one more. There's still one more. Okay, the Onabara proficiency. Even one incorrect answer will render the exam failed. Please come again. <gasps> I can't get any wrong. I can't get any wrong. Okay, not a single Welcome. one wrong. We have to get all five. Decided on you'd like to take this oh boy. Okay, not to. We got this one right, yeah. Up until the first half of the 20th century, what plant was cultivated all over Hawaii? We had this one and I think it's sugar cane. What was the name of the Haley's Comet? Uh, this seed method for pumpkins. At the start of sprinting events, athletes place both hands on the ground. What is this position called? Launching start? Rocket start? Probably rocket or launching. I'm gonna say rocket. It sounds cooler. <sighs> I had the other ones, though. If I... Oh, my God. That's the only question, dude.
the last one. It's a crouch start. God damn. Welcome. Have you decided on what you... Dojima was the patriarch of the family within the Toja clan, the largest. What did the falling crest belong to the family? Oh god, I need to know the crest? Oh. <gasps> This is Yakuza Zero bullshit, and I do not remember what it looked like. <sighs> Two? Four? <gasps> I don't remember what the crest was for the Dojima family, I think. <sighs> Before the start of a soccer game, children called player East. Uh, they would- Oh god, we had this one earlier. They helped carry the ball? We had it wrong. <sighs> I think it was carry the ball. This is hang on. Which of the following foods known for its unique texture is made from cassava? A root vegetable that grows mainly in the tropics. I've never heard of cassava before. <laughs> I have no idea. Not boba. I have no idea. The Hawaiian archipelago has a hundred different islands. Which island is the second largest and home to Lahina, Lahana, Lahaina? Uh, once the capital of the Hawaiian kingdom. No idea. Let's just say Maui. I have no idea. This is terrible. I have a feeling a lot of my money is about to be wasted. It's, and it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's just a thousand dollars per exam. No big deal. No big deal. Ah, I actually got it right! Oh, four is the Nishikiyama family. Majima family, Saejima family, those ring bells. But yeah, oh, I didn't, I didn't remember four at all. I got one wrong. This one. So it is boba? Tapioca? Really? Tapioca is actually a starch extracted from the roots of a cassava plant. I had no idea. And I guessed the other ones correctly. Are you kidding? I'm all <laughs> welcome. Have Don't worry. I still have $80,000. So we're good. I have plenty of money to fuck up with. Okay. The, okay, baking soda. A helicopter generates both lift and propulsion. A helicopter can be broken down into which two root words? Helicopter! Shouldn't it be heli and copter? Heli? Why? No. Uh, I'm missing that. Which of the following is false? They can dissolve metal. What is the answer to the following question? 20... 6, 27? 27? 20 plus 6 plus 1. What is the name of this establishment, Revolve? In helicopter. Helico is derived from helix. Oh, and then Pter is Terran for wing. Oh my god. Uh, it's always one wrong. It's always one wrong. <laughs> Welcome. Have you decided on which exam? You Tapioca. <sighs> Hang on. <sighs> Runs a grocery store. Apple girl. Which of the following flowers is famous for their thorns? Is that a rose? It should be a rose. Which of the following images depicts the Louvre? Uh, this one. Okay. I... Uh, 
Uh, that should be it. And now I have a sub story. Beautiful. Time to do the sub story. You're welcome. Can I give a present? Oh, she wanted the ABC store gift set. Oh shit, I don't have it. You're welcome. Have you decided on which? Please come again. I guess I have to give her the gift set. I don't, I don't know how this works. Oh hi. So many friends out here. Look at me go. Hey, look at all my bitches! Hi. Hi there. Can I help you with something? No. Okay, I guess I, I don't I don't know what to do. Welcome. Please. Later. Okay, so yeah, we have two sub stories to do. Uh, we can do the Roomba, and then we also can do the. We're right here, so we'll we'll just quickly run this. Oh my god, I'm gonna get hit by a car. That was way too close for comfort. Oh yeah, I have yet to do a Sujimon raid. I've actually never done one before. All right. Oh, it's still purple down here. I'm still not strong enough for this area. All right, I don't know if I can technically do this. I am, I'm on Sujimon job though, which might not be the best option, but. All right, we're gonna save and we're gonna beat up this guy. All right. Hey. A changed man. Ooh. Oh wait, we already got the story for this, <laughs> so we can just like uh, skip it. We we lost basically. This should be fun. Let's do it. Oh, he's 26? Oh, God. Um... Okay, he's a little bit stronger than I thought. Hmm. I just want to try a bunch of different things, but... Um... There we go. Let's get it done. Is that really all you got? Zesty oh, breath. Oh, Do I feel smart? Um, yeah, I feel a little bit smarter than I did before, you know. Ow. Let's get it done. All right, let's try spicy breath. Open one. Oh, baby. I don't know if I'm going to win against this guy. This could be it. I don't know. I think it'll be close. It'll be spicy. This is gonna be a time. Let's rock. Contract 
Ooh, trap buffoo. Ow. Better make this quick. That fucking hurt, man. That fucking hurt. That was rude. Let's see, what do we got? Maybe like this bowl. Cool. Cool. I'm very speedy, which is good. Didn't uh kinda didn't expect that. Open wide. To the, <laughs> the info that I learned in doesn't stick beyond a time I take the exam. Oh yeah, that's why I think it's better to just like hash out all of the um the exams like like we just did in one go so that whenever you get to the end you remember the questions a little bit easier because you just did it if i spaced out doing the exams i would i probably would have had a lot more trouble Break yourself. Damn it. good thing i had more eggs to eat because eggs are on the menu today. Let's rock. Ow. Cool. That really all you got. Open one. Oh baby. Wee. You've done well. <laughs> Oh. Oh. I'm getting bodied. Oh my god, 500 for the pizza? Jesus Christ. My healing options are a little bit on the, the lower side. Um, pepperoni pizza it is. Much better. Ow. Cool. That hurt. He's almost dead. Make this quick. Okay, last egg I, I'm gonna eat. I swear. I'm surprised I'm actually still winning against this guy. Open one. Pressing kick. Oh. Cool. I was nervous. I'm like, I'm only one hit away from beating you. I did it! Woo! First try. 800 bucks! That's chump money. I remember whenever I was poor, and then Dondoko Island took over. And then I learned the value of having a lot of money. <laughs> I'd say you've improved plenty. The new use tough as nails. Still not enough to take you down. Don't know how you get better every time. Wasn't until our last fight that it hit me. I was only polishing my image, not my skill. That had to change. Before, I was only beating down weaklings. Not that kind, that kind of thing gets old. Just one meaningless smackdown after another. But when, I, when you and I fought, I felt something I hadn't felt in forever. I was energized, and I remembered why I started fighting in the first place, to feel alive. <laughs> you really have made a 180. Good for you, man. You think my viewers will notice a difference, too? You're still making videos? Oh, hell yeah. Take our previous match, for instance. It's my most popular video. Huh? You were filming that? I didn't tell you? Ah, uh, my bad. But don't trip. I made sure your face was blurred out. Privacy rights and all that. <sighs> Like, I still had any privacy on the internet. Well, whatever. <laughs> what are people saying about our fight? I think my fans are enjoying it. I had to pull out all the stops, only to lose. But I think that that's exactly what makes it such a thrill. And it turns out people like the serious competition way better. They feel more They feel more from it like I did. So don't go thinking this over. I still got some training to do, techniques to master, and then we'll have us, ha have a, us a finale. Once I beat you in front of millions of viewers, it'll be the ultimate comeback. A fitting end to an epic saga, wouldn't you say? <laughs> you got it all planned out, huh? Hope you don't mind if I put my own spin on it. I welcome okay. you to try. All right, then. Found you at last, Asakura. Ooh. 
Got another baddie. Oh, I learned Heart of a Champion. Okay. So. Now, we have one more sub-story left. I have to go find... Uh, she said it's an ABC store thing. So if I just go to an ABC store, it should have what I'm looking for. Um, It's just been a while since I've been to one, honestly. But I don't need to do that sub-story now. That can be another day. Let's go spend money on, on this. It's a very good life decision. I have $79,000 still. I've only spent like $20,000 on education, which, I mean, for American standards, $20,000 on education, not too bad. I'd say that's not like a terrible deal. All right, bitch, I can afford your goddamn Roomba. Hey. Yep, jobs will be after this. It's the last thing to spend my money on. All right, we've reached the 3,000 target. Then I suppose it's time to do my part. Lord Shrub, remember this day because tomorrow the future begins. Looking forward to the new and improved Sujimaru. Leave it to me. I'll contact you when development is complete. Farewell for now. What kind of vacuum cleaner it's gonna be next? Well, guess I'll wait to hear from the professor. I'm sure it won't take long if it's not already on my map. Okay, no pee, okay. Wait for the professor, we have to wait. All right. If you need a change of pace, okay. Uh, other than that, see you at the next LL Happy. Wait, I can't purchase jobs here? I have to go to the other one? Okay, we have to go to the main office. I didn't know that. Okay, well that's lame. Time to go to the main office then. Yoga on the shore. Let's all Allo happy. Here we go. Now, let's relax. Oh, Kiryu. And on to the next pose. Like this. Okay. That's right. Oh, of <laughs> course. <laughs> Old guys. Like this. How about this one? <laughs> These old men. <gasps> like this? Well then. <sighs> you couldn't possibly do this. <laughs> you couldn't possibly do this. <laughs> Chitose, damn, damn girl, damn, okay. Oh shit. Here I come. Who no Ichi, dude, that's hot. Okay. Okay, okay, that's that's a nice job. That's a nice job. What sparks your interest? Uh, I think we only have one more. This one, Water Gun Shootout. Can you survive to the end? Don't underestimate this as mere child's play. Making your way through the, th through the line of fire, exchanging shots just like the Wild West. Wild West Sharpshooter. Even adults get hooked on this thrilling game of soak or be soaked. That's all Allo Happy! I got all the jobs. I don't think so. Oh, come on, dude. Damn, so much fan service. Tommy, no, don't do it. Oh. Oh shit, he got him. Shootout with the old west. 
Like the old west? Where the fuck are you getting that? Oh my, oh my gosh. Oh my god, yeehaw, motherfucker. Okay. I've gotten all the jobs. I have nothing to live for now. Matsumoto Shave Ice gift set. Okay, I have so many gift sets to give people. Okay. I got all the jobs. I have to do plot now. <laughs> I have nothing else to do. I have nothing else to do. Oh, there's an ABC store right here. Rubber bullets class? Prof. I guess that's one way to put it. Oh, no. It's me, Asakura. I've got a good feeling about my chances, so I want a final match between us. Oh, God. Yeah, that probably is not a good idea. I barely won in the last one, so where is he at? He said behind the docks. He's Yeah, he's here again. Yeah! Uh, I should wait until I'm stronger, huh? Probably. Yeah, I think we actually need to do plot. I did all of... Well, I could do more Dondoko Island, but I won't do it on stream. It's a little, It's not the most entertaining thing to watch. Aloha. I just want everything. I want one of everything. Garden t-shirt. Um, oh, wait. That's These are equipment. I don't actually want that. Oh, uh, of course I need more dog food. I have money, so I'm not worried about spending it now. I'm a rich bitch. This ABC store doesn't have the gift set that I'm looking for. Thank you. What a bitch. I could do more Soijimon grinding, but I do, yeah, I like to do the mini games at least off stream a little bit. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Wait, there's a taxi that can drive me here? How? <laughs> I don't need no comprende. Okay. I see nothing else to do, guys. So... A um, little awkward. But it is looking like we gotta go do the plot. I did all my exams. Rank 3 Dondoko Island. All the sub-stories so far. I gotta see Chitose's editing now. Aloha. Pretty much. She had so much time to edit that. Oh god, wait. Oh. I was able to complete the updates to Soji Maru. Just kidding, we have a sub story. JK! Hello. Hello. Do you sell the same things? I guess I have money, so I'm not really concerned anymore. ABC store gift set, yes! I found it. I forget who wanted it. Thank you. <laughs> I have so many gift sets that I need to buy. Um, I think it was the school girl. Okay, so the Soji Maru is here. School girl is here. Let's follow up on Soji Maru, I think. So that first, then the girl, and then plot. <laughs> there we go. Wait, there's a friend. There's a friend there, I really... Wait, What's with I... Hello? Okay, I really just needed to make a friend. Oh god, oh god, oh god. No, 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 I just... I needed to be friends with Vivian. <laughs> That's all I needed. These are like such first world problems. I just needed friends. That's all I needed. I won't take that. 
Nice Chitosai. All right, it was worth it. I made a friend. Okay. Oh, there you are. All right. Fresh out of the lab, the Soji Maru intelligence model. Fresh with AI. Doesn't look much different from before, but uh, it's what's under the hood you said, right? Astutely recalled, the chases may be similar, but her internals are totally revamped. In the simplest of terms, she's learned how to think. How's that possible? As they say, seeing is believing. Allow me to demonstrate. Here, two servings of shave ice. Looks tasty. Now, let's place them on the ground. Notice that Sojimaru doesn't respond. That's because there's still food, not trash. However, if I were to consume one of them... Ugh. Brain freeze! Brain freeze! Did he rehearse this? What a dumb gag. Now then, when I place the empty cup back... Trash detected! Trash detected! A stupid song. That fucking song. Oh my god, it ate oh. that guy too. Oh wow, she can actually tell the difference. Didn't even touch the uneaten one. Astonishing, isn't so it? Can she do that for other stuff? Like, would she consider a broken surfboard trash? Theoretically, yes. Hmm? Theoretically? Hmm, right now Sojimaru is something like a newborn. Her AI was constantly evolve over time. The fashionable term for it is deep learning. I don't really follow, but it seems like you're saying that she'll get better at knowing what's trash or not. That's exactly it. Which leads me to another request. Mm -hmm. Would you be willing to help me teach Sojimaru to classify trash more intelligently? Intelligently classify trash. How do we do that? For instance, here's a discarded bento. Obviously, eating it would make you sick. You'd certainly call that trash, yes? Now, by the time token, here's a nice watch. Even a bandit. It's perfectly usable. Not at all. Trash. Simple, eh? I must admit, my eyes aren't what they used to be. At my age, it's difficult to quickly tell trash from non-trash. Guess I won't be uh, why it won't ask why he's he'd work on a vacuum cleaner of all things, then. Uh, I think I got you. You show me stuff, I say whether it's trash or not. And Sojimaru listens? Hmm. But Sojimaru must listen, learn to be fast, so you'll have to model split-second assessments for her. No one, no one wants a ponderous vacuum. Hard to believe my speed would matter, but if you say so. I'm eager to begin the process. Are you ready to go? Yeah. I think we're good. Yeah, let's do it. I'm scared. Decide quickly if the displayed item is trash or not trash. You'll have three seconds. Okay. I've got to sort the trash from the non-trash. Trash. Is this trash? Trash. Is this trash? Okay, maybe not. Is this trash? Trash. Or, or, is this trash? No. Uh, is this trash? Not trash. Is this trash? Not trash? Uh, even if they're like beaten down and stuff, God, I just want to make something out of it. Is this trash? Not trash. I don't know. Is this trash? Not trash? Oh no. Okay. Oh Jesus. Very, very good. That should be plenty of usable data. So Jamaru will need a bit of time to update. Come back a little later though and she'll be perf practically reborn. Does she learn in her sleep or something? I'm a little bit scared, but we're gonna go across the street and we're just gonna do the sub story over here. That's exactly this is the only thing that we're gonna do. Because sub stories are my life. I do not live in Yakuza games if there are no sub stories for me to do. 
and I must complete all of them. All right, I think I have your have set that you wanted. Yes, give it. Sup? Oh. You sure you want to give this away? Thank you so much. Wait, do I have to give you another one? Welcome. Chat? <laughs> oh. I need to go buy some makeup. Maybe now's not my chance to try out that Hawaiian cosmetics or something. Hawaiian cosmetics? Oh, wait, I have it? Oh, shit! Oh. Nice! Oh. oh, fuck! Welcome. I moved recently. Just felt like I needed a change of pace, you wow. know? Just for the change of pace, that's a bold move. Have you finished unpacking everything? Yes. Oh, my... Fuck! Fun fact, the title to every chapter is also the title of an Elvis song. That's cool. Thank you for the $10, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Thank you for the donation. <laughs> I think I just, like, my, my soul just... It's gone. All right. Maybe because my new place is larger than the last one, it feels barren. I'm thinking about buying more things to decorate, like flowers, plumerias particularly, since they're so beautiful. Hmm... Plumeria blank. I have a Plumeria bank bouquet, so. Sup? Oh. I, I just keep giving her gifts. Oh, I finally got to the sub story part. Sorry for scaring you. How dare you do that? No, really, thank you. Huh? You startled me. Oh, uh, I have something to tell you. Maybe we could talk somewhere privately? Kasuga kun uh, say, I'm a little nervous right now. Do you think you could come with me for a moment? <laughs> Are you finally, you know, the time has come. Oh boy, this is going to be a disaster. Love it. Why here of all places? Dr. Sakari. I love you, you Lora-san. I would really ask you to, um, date with me. Oh. Yeah, by which I mean, have a date with me. Oh! Uh, go out dating with me. Um, you have to date me uh, forever. Uh, easy, easy. Calm yourself and don't repeat yourself. Uh... I'm very sorry. <laughs> oh. I... Well, I appreciate the sentiment. I do, Ikari-san. You deserve to know the honest truth, however. I respect the courage you've shown here. <laughs> Thank you. Huh? Oh, yeah. Sure thing. And I... I should show some courage of my own. I owe it to everyone. Laura-chan? No! No! Huh? Kasuka-san, I love you! <laughs> what? What? You see, I told myself it would be wrong to mix professional and personal feelings. But when Akari-san opened himself up just now, I realized I can no longer deny what my heart is saying. Oh, God. To be honest, I'd worry about losing the respect of such a valued co-worker as Akari-san okay. if I didn't face okay. the truth. No, I'd be just fine with it. I swear. Come on, Laura John. I, I mean, why me? <laughs> I've always loved sweet, sincere, hardworking men. In fact, that's what drew me to becoming a receptionist here. Admittedly, I've made mistakes and ended up in relationships with students in the past. <laughs> what? Laura John, you never told me you've had. Prior relationships. And just prior relationships. Oh my affairs, god! You walk through our doors, Kasuga-san. Oh no! You're so effortlessly cool. You're one of our smartest students, and watching you apply yourself on every exam was just <sighs> breathtaking. I know. I've got way more certifications than this idiot. You want cool? How's that for cool? Ikari-san, I'm sorry. But you're just not my type. Besides, aren't you always telling me how strict office harassment protocols are? 
Good taste. We cannot. It's not that. Lord John, you're amazing. You're nah, I can't deny that fact. Even. Ichiban's pretty great. Just go, I'll bury you. You haven't seen the last of Hikari! Oh my god, oh, dude's Hikari! gushing out water. What the hell? Uh, Suka-san? Oh, Lord John, hold on. I, I, I'm glad that you feel this way. I've got someone else. <laughs> That's perfectly fine. I'm rank one on our polyamory certification. You can have both of us without any jealousy. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Above, it means the great wild ocean will certify anything. Whoa, whoa okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Polyamory? I don't know if I signed up for this. <sighs> Wonderful, Kasuga-san. Your passion for broadening your horizons is undeniable. As for the Laura exam, I award you third rank. Thanks. I'm honored. Let's both do our best to help you reach rank two. He's I fucking dead. Again. Okay. Oh, looking at her, you never know how educated she is Kasuga! Huh? Whoa, 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 I'm whoa! Sorry, okay? Please, calm down. Bro! The time for forgiveness is over. Now to put my face in the hiding in the trash can. Normal. Grown men acting like babies. Normal. How is What is this fantastical concept? Invite Ikari getting owned, Kasuga getting laid. All is right in the world. Uh, <laughs> thanks for the hundred, Mori. Thank you so much for the hundred as well. <laughs> Helping Lorichan recuperate is my business. <clears throat> I'm going to. We'll see where whose hospitality she really appreciates. Oh god. They can go on my island. Oh no. Okay, um, we're done with this. We finished a mini game in this game. Can you believe it? I actually finished a mini game. Hello. And it's ending sub story. We are actually fucking game. Okay, next. Uh oh, it popped back up, so I'm assuming I can continue the robot sub story. rebooted and her AI's become far more advanced. Oh boy. This Sojimaru unit has undergone a dramatic improvement. Her current collaboration is version 2.1. Calibration, not collaboration. She sounds fancier at least. 18 counted car. <laughs> No behold her true potential. Look there. <laughs> That's a lot of trash. We shall have Sojimaru canva canvas this entire area and only vacuum up the trash, leaving everything else oh. as is. That'd be something, but there's a lot to suck up, isn't there? Will it all fit? Why don't we just bring Sojimaru so into the, the, the island to cre clean up the trash there? Why aren't we doing that? Like, instead, Ichiban gotta, like, whack it away. <laughs> I remember mentioning that. I'll burn up the trash as it goes, huh? Okay, cleaning mode, oh boy. Ow. 
ascertaining trash. Okay, everything so far so good. So far so good, everybody. <laughs> She's amazing. She really knows exactly which trash and what's not. Please don't hold back, Lord Shrub. Let loose your praise. Okay. <coughs> Sojimaru has not even reached her full potential. Her efficiency will increase the more wow. she learns. This AI stuff is really something. So what happens after she's done vacuuming? Once Sojimaru no longer detects any trash in the vicinity, she'll she'll return. Except her, I expect her back any moment. So, is she stalled or something? Hmm. That seems odd. Hello, come on home, dear. Trash detected. Trash detected. You new here, tourist? Afraid you gotta pay the toll to no. pass through. Let's call it a thousand for your first <laughs> nah, time. Nah, bro. This can't be happening. We wasted our time before we double that shit. Trash detected. Trash detected. Huh? What the hell? It's a monster! Ah! Hey! Oh my god, they're fucking dead! Up people. Why? How is this possible? Damn, that hamburger hit the spot, right? Yeah, I love going out to eat. That's a littering kid from before, Tomokun. What do you it? want to do now, babe? Trash detected. Multiple types of trash in close proximity. This is a really good way to get rid of all the assholes in town. Whoa! Maybe this ain't a bad idea. Not again. How could this thing have gone haywire a second time, Doc? <gasps> hmm. I never foresaw this possibility. What's she thinking? Crap! She's moving again! That blonde woman's gonna get vacuumed to hell! Hmm? Pardon me. Please be aware of heavy traffic in this area and proceed with caution. Oh, she passed Have the vibe check. Day. She it's okay, oh, she gets a pass. Um thank you. Uh? Wait, why didn't she suck that woman up? That was more like sucking up to her. Yes, I see. The trash detection AI has evolved. She's now capable of determining whether a human is, well, societal trash. Societal trash? Oh my god. That's nuts. I mean, how to judge that woman? Sojimaru was practically flirting. You gag, that's it. She was listening when I tested her voice recognition by talking about the kinds of women I like. Oh no. I must have made too persuasive a case because Sojimaru's database recognized that young lady as, well, close to ideal. What are you, in high school? Jeez. At any rate, Lord Shrub, Sojimaru has become a threat to humanity. We must put a stop to her. Now come assist me. Oh, no. Such a pain in the ass, this robotic air sucker. Sojimaru, I demand you cease cleaning. Hey! Listen to me! Stop! You're malfunctioning! Oh, where was that emergency shutoff button? Trash detected. Trash detected. Eh? <laughs> what the fuck?! Professor! What the hell was that just now?! <laughs> I suppose it is more efficient to incinerate trash before taking it inside of the body. Clever play, AI. 
This is no time for an analysis, Doc. She breathes fire now? Like a dragon? Hurry like up, a dragon. Me. The emergency shut up button <laughs> is just over. <laughs> That's funny. Soji Maru, it's me. Stop sucking. Lord Trump, the emergency shut off button. Professor. Oh, well, damn it. It's happening just like before. Lord Trump. Fine. I gotta bust this thing up again. So be it. And so it happens yet again. Sub mode engaged. Oh, boy. This is. If we uh, don't stop her, she could reduce this place to smoldering rubble. Her incinerator runs at 2,000 degrees to ensure she never misses a spot. Why are all her specs so terrifying? Now. Okay. What? Fucking ow. Go. Here we go. All right. Care to dance? Be honored. Uh, that's it. Follow my lead. That that's it. Oh. You're in it. Sure, I'll play with you. Don't wuss out now. Nothing personal. Y'all were in trouble. Let's get it. I really hope this does some damage. Yo, let's do that thing! Right on! Watch where you're looking! You might get hurt! Okay, that did a lot. That did a lot. Sojimaru is not fucking around, bro. I don't know if I can win. Something wrong. Let's see. Okay, weak. Okay, we can do this. Oh, that did good damage. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, this might be lame, but I don't know what to do. Don't get caught. Hmm? I did this a little bit too early, I guess. I I, I thought I was fine though. Apparently not. Just something nice. small like chocolate ice cream. Throw that at Ichiban. Use it. Thanks, yo. Ready as I'll ever be. All right, all right, we got this. As you can see, we just need to... Oh god. Gun? Do guns work? Guns work. Okay, gun. Oh, that's an arrow. Oh shit! I, I beat- I beat one! Oh boy. Come on. Uh, what can I do? Reese? No. Uh, boost your allies will pair up power and evasion. Ugh. Okay. I did a lot of damage. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, we did a lot of damage there. Spicy. Zesty. Okay, there you go. Zesty breath. Break yourself! Okay, good damage, good damage, good damage. 
<laughs> Kiryu is stunned. Oh god. Ready when you are. What am I doing? Sure, I'll play with you. Got you now. Oh! Damn the damage. I love spilling tea. Hey, I hate the music with this fight, God. <laughs> I hate it. Open Oh, so close to dead. Oh, Kiryu, no. I guess I keep spilling the tea, man. This is just what Chitose's here for now. Hey, thanks. Ready as I'll ever be. Okay. Well, I'm waiting. I wonder if I can just like slash it dead. <clears throat> I'm just gonna try it. Oh wait, oh wait, I still was on burning arrow. I didn't mean to do that. It's okay. You're in it now. Yeah. Oh come on, bring it. Yeah. I'm out of MP. I have the perfect solution to that problem. It's called now. alcohol. Let's rock. Tomi is the only person doing big damage. The only person. There's a certain amount of turns where the guns come back, and I hope that's uh, not the, not the case. He's not doing anything, but I'm like worried that those guns are gonna come back to life. Not just unstoppable. She actually seems pissed off. She's entered crisis mode now, which means her limiters have been disengaged. Why does a vacuum need crisis mode? Oh, crisis mode? Why do I even ask? What? Want some? You what? Are you getting scared? How about I just guard? Yeah. Open one. Oh, baby. Contract fulfilled. Follow my lead. Oh, I ran out. Um, um, let's just get me MP. Which the best way we can get MP is by drinking. Might as well. What's the hold up? Overheating emergency? Crap. Not good. Let's go, let's go. Aw, oh, Tomi can't do his skill, burning arrow. We're out of- I, I, I need alcohol, too. Everybody needs alcohol. What? You're in it now! Alright. <laughs> Just a oh, sec. Bring it. Huh, feeling better. I'll cool. No longer drunk? Well, that's boring. Break yourself! Or I find you to this place! You've done well. Oh, you I won't hold back. Okay. Ready for the knockout? <laughs> Chitose's just gonna that. burn alive. I need a break. What's the hold up? Honestly. Oh, come on. Bring it. <laughs> I love spilling tea. Hey, thanks. This music makes this even funnier, but it keeps going. There's no end. Got you now. 
Oh my god, that skill is OP as shit. Without Tomi being on samurai job, I would have I would have lost. Wow. He just did all of the damage. Learning more every day. Doing better than I added it. Hey! I'm even it's insane. Cleaning mode discontinued. Safety mode engaged. Gives incentive to beat the boss faster. That's so true. <laughs> Finally calm down. Jeez, you're supposed to make people's lives easier. Now what? Some kind of self-destruct function? Delicious pancakes for you. Delicious pancakes for you. Delicious pancakes for you. Delicious pancakes for you. Ugh. You've saved the day once again. I can't thank you enough. Here's just a small token of my appreciation. Please, Doc. Be more careful in the future. I'm begging you. You're right, of course. I never imagined vacuum cleaner technology could be so dangerous. Hmm. AI is a perilous frontier to explore. If nothing else, that's a valuable lesson to have learned from this incident. Which isn't to say my work is done. Once we're back in the lab, I'll make Sojimaru safer and more user-friendly than ever. I admire how you never seem to give up, Doc. And hey, for a vacuum, Sojimaru might actually have some things to teach us about being better people. Oh, I'll never let her again. Well said. Even I'm not so fine a man that I couldn't have become pancake batter. Oh. Uh, I'm not quite sure how you can laugh at that, but... Are they eating These pancakes without tasty. syrup? Have some more. Have some more. Don't mind if I do. <sighs> okay. Aloha. Let's oh. dig in. Go. Yeah, that was great. my plate. Thank you. Bonds. Talk to Chitose at Revolve. Okay, we're done. That's all of the side content that I can do, pretty much, besides Dondoko and Sujimon. Plot. Plot. It's crazy. It's crazy. But plot. Let me go get some grapes real quick. Oh wait, did we ever finish? We never finished the DJ PP stew uh, episode. That does suck. But give me a minute.
All right, I got nice grapes for plot. Wait, there's a blue dot. Oh, probably like all the guests. I can invite so many people to my island now. Yo, you want to come to my island? Hello. Sexy Kunoichi. So I got an island. Oh. Until then, my liege. Okay. Okay. I like that. Plot. We made it. Awesome. That should do it for the upload. The video turned out really good, too. You sure know how to put on a show, Ichiban. You think you do this for a living. I don't know if I mention it, but despite my looks, I did run for an election once. <laughs> an True. election? For what? I mean, like, a real election. And this wasn't for student council or something? She doesn't believe if me. If they elected me, I would have been a politician. Seriously? Good grief, man. Is there anything you haven't done? Whoa, no way. We already got a DM. Wonder who from. What? Don't tell me it's from Akane-san. Uh, nope. Some guy named Eiji. He wants to know if we can meet him somewhere. Eiji? Wait a sec. You mean Eichon? Ah, so we got Eichon's attention at the least. The guy from the beginning, yeah. Tomizawa, you remember, right? Uh, you know, the guy in the wheelchair who chased you off when we first met? Oh, him. Yeah, I remember. So, what's the plan? Tommy is still you salty about it. That all right with you, Kiryu-san? He's a buddy that helped me out my first day here. Knowing him, I'm sure he's just worried about me. Sure. We've got nothing pressing right now. Why not? Awesome, thanks. Okay, yeah, let's take him up on that. All right, I'll ask where's best for him. He said over by the Anaconda Shopping Center. That should be fine, yeah? Yeah, no problem. Now, where's Akane-san? It's too bad we can't meet her this easily. That's it? No, we gotta do our bonds with Chitose. Drink Link! Let's go! Hey, am I bugging you, Chichan? Oh, nah, of course not. It's just... What's up? Well, uh, Gramps tried to get in touch with me just now. Oh. Saying, I'm sure you're busy, but do you think we could still meet? Right. The butler who works for your family. Ever since I joined you guys, I haven't gone to visit him in a long time. He must be real worried about you, Chichan. Yeah, no kidding. You know what else he said? I believe Milady is hiding something from me. All I've told him was that I'm just enjoying my time abroad like a typical exchange student. I mean, you gotta hand it to the old man. His intuition's pretty sharp. He's not wrong. <sighs> yep. My instructor's gotta be the best of the best. Well, why don't you go visit him once? Just so you can see you're doing okay. But if I do, he'll probably figure me out. You said it yourself, he's pretty sharp. And if he picks up that something's off, he's gonna have to report it to my family. Basically, nothing good will come from me seeing Gramps right now. Hmm. Put his mind at ease. It would put his mind at ease, though. You don't want him to keep worrying over you, right? Well, yeah. You've got a point. It's been kind of hard on him. You sure you want to leave him hanging like this? Wouldn't he try to look for you himself? I think he'll be fine. He's old and only just started using a smartphone. He doesn't know anyone else in Hawaii, so he'd have a hard time trying to track me down on his own. But all that just means I'm free to do as I please now. He's reached a ripe old age. Actually, that doesn't make it any better, huh? In fact, he's probably even more lonely. 
He probably is. But I want to keep going like this just a bit longer. Why don't you try sending him something different from usual then? Uh, I don't follow. You guys have only been sending texts, right? Maybe you could add a video or a picture. Change it up. Hmm. Okay, then what do you suggest? Hmm. A group photo. Uh, how about we take a group photo with everyone and send it over? Yeah! Just tell them us guys have been looking out for you. Yeah, I don't know about that. Seeing me surrounded by a bunch of buffed out dudes, immediate red flag. He'd probably Aww. give me the third degree, and I'd rather not make him any more worried, you know? Bruh. Well, uh, even if you don't want to meet him, it probably couldn't hurt to show him at least something. Yeah, I guess you're right. I'll sleep on it. <laughs> it's kind of funny in a way. My parents never gave a shit about me. Gramps was the only one who cared. Well... Not all family are bound by blood, you know? Hearing you talk about your gramps reminded me of that. I wasn't related to the man who raised me, Jiro Kasuga. He ran a soap land back in Kamrocho. We definitely had that parent-child bond, you know? At least, I thought so. Ichiban. If there's even just one person out there who gave a shit about you, then wouldn't that make them family? Yeah, guess so. Thanks, Ichiban. What for? I don't know if Grams considers me family, but he's definitely important to me. He does deserve more than a wall of text, though. That's right. That's Maybe right. I'll give him, him a, a call. call from time to time. <laughs> That's not a bad idea. Your suggestion's not so bad either. I think I will send him something a bit more real. Glad to hear it. That alone makes this all worthwhile. Thanks for the life lesson today. Beautiful. Is that it? I really want to have talks with Kiryu. Here's a bouquet. I love you, Kiryu. They're beautiful. Thanks. Thank you. They're for you. I used to see them everywhere back in Okinawa. Sometimes I can hear the sound of the waves whenever I see them. Oh. Um, let's sing a karaoke song. <laughs> distraction alert! Distraction alert! <laughs> Guess it's my turn. Alright, I need to hear Summertime Groove in English. We haven't heard this one in English. After eight years, I got the balls to confess, but my crush kicked me to the curb. <laughs> <laughs> my heart in that love letter. She tore her oh, 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 oh. to the shredder. Our relationship, it won't get better. She left me before I could forget her. So, uh, you know that girl you like's got a boyfriend? I hear he's captain of the soccer team and hot and smart and athletic. Yeah. He's like the whole thing. Yeah. 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 You're not in the same league, dude. <laughs> Sorry, I feel bad, I do. Yeah, I went through something awful, you know? You had your eyes on her for so long, but everybody else did too. Apparently, those two are going four years strong. Really? Four years? It's been that long? How can someone be this damn slow? Even a jerk like you wanna know. <laughs> no <laughs> need to go and cry. <laughs> Deep sorry. down, so you're a good sorry. guy. You need to get your mind off things. <laughs> How about a trip to Hawaii? Let's go. So grab your towel and dry up your tears. Oh, she's just here. Just get down and dance. Now we're feeling that trip to Hawaii. Let's hit the beat and flirt with some fans. Think I can pet some tacos too? So maybe there's a chance you'll meet your soulmate. You know what? Let's go. Let's make your move. Now I know what this song is saying! <laughs> now it makes more sense why Adachi is here! 
he's dreaming of Adachi, you know, being with him to pick up girls for emotional support because he needs it. That's sad. Poor Ichiban. He needs his bro here. He really does. Feel good. He's practically dying. All right. I guess it's here that we go. I ship it. You ship it? Adachi and Ichiban? No way. Thank you for the 200 bits, Tion. Why do you keep donating bits? I'm confused. Kasuga -san. Hey! Yo, hey, John. I'm glad you reached out. Good to see you, buddy. Uh, um, Kasuga-san, didn't this guy... He, he tried to rob you, right? <laughs> yeah, a lot's happened since. This is Tomi. And this is your first time meeting these two, I'm sure. H Hello. I I'm still confused. You're friends with him now? After all he did to you? Ichiban's an idiot, don't mind. Al, let's find a place to sit back and I'll fill you in. Elias, thank you for the 300 bits. I, I really see. appreciate that. So, you still haven't met your mother. Not only that, but the city's gangs are after her. I don't know if I should even call her my mother. Still trying to figure that out, too. So, Akane-san's being pursued by the Barracudas. And Yamai's still in the picture as well? And let's not forget the Daidoji faction from Japan. They got Chitose's just her awkwardly too. not at the table. Right? She could pull up the, the chair. The Daidoji faction? They were said to run nearly all of Japan at one point. I'm here to find Akane-san on their orders. I... I see. Oh, yeah, I, I still haven't introduced them. This is Kazuma Kiryu-san. He took great care of me back in Japan. Uh, hello, I'm Mitamura. Right, and this is Chichan. I'm Chitose Fujinomiya. Pleased to meet you. Mm, wait a second. So it is very Yaku Yakuza coded to have a villain at the end that you thought was a friend the whole time kind of thing, right? Like, it happens every game. <laughs> I swear to God. So, like, I'm staring down AEG. I'm staring him down. Just seeing, you know? Just observing. Just in case. Because, you know, I have trust issues in this series. Chitose-san, was it? Yes, pleasure to meet you as well. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> well, I must say, you've gathered up quite a party since we last met. Yeah, Hawaii's blessed me with all sorts of friends. Of course, that includes you too, eh, chan Not sure if I would have made it on my own. You're the only one that's ever said that to me, Kasuga-san. Flattery or not. I'm honored. Nah, I'm not one for flattery, personally. Well, then, is there anything I might help you out with? Huh? It's just, I've already gone this far. And I know the internet. I figure I can be of at least some use. He knows the internet. What if he's the VTuber? Just throwing it out there. The VTuber that ruined Ichiban's life. Anyway. Hey, I, I appreciate it, but... Eichon, don't you have your own life and stuff to worry about? Uh, right. I hadn't mentioned it, had I? What? The truth is... I lost my job over in Japan. That's why I came back here. What was your job? Naturally, I feel awkward going home. If it's no trouble, Kasuga-san, I'd like to be a part. I don't believe No, no trouble at all, but, uh, I can't promise there won't be trouble later. 
Like I said, there's a few gangs involved. Kasuga. What's up? I'm being watched. I'm glad you didn't make that promise. We're surrounded. Yeah, a bunch of people huh? just rolled up. He's not kidding. Check it out. They're all looking our way. Yeah, they are. We've met before. With the Barracudas too? I don't think so. This is someone else. Ganja, maybe. Who's, who's that? Ganja? It's unlikely you've heard of them, Kasuga-san. They're Chinese Mafia. They often have turf wars with the Barracudas. What? Why do they First hate the me? the Barracudas, now the Chinese Mafia? Why is just... Why do they hate me? I don't... What? It? Why am I target closer. for you guys? Looks like there's about 20 of them. What do you think they want? Who knows? Either way, it doesn't seem like they'll let us go. They made sure to surround us before closing in. This was planned out. Ichiban Kasuga, how about you come with us? The rest of you are free to go. We've only got business with him. Shame we didn't make the cut. We're looking for this woman. With luck, we'll put some heat on her son and she'll come crawling out. Is that Akane-san? Oh, that put him too? on blast. What the hell? Who so now everybody woman? thinks that they can get to Akane huh. by going through me. So okay, that makes sense. Oh, first. geez. Huh? If the others would care to leave, now's your chance. This is your final warning. All right, prediction alert. Um, Chitose did this on purpose. We kind of just like went with her idea on the video edit and thing, and we like didn't question it. But I'm pretty sure she like knew that this outcome was gonna happen. Um, she wanted other people to take down Ichiban. Maybe she never worked for Akane-san. What if Chitose never really worked for her, but she's been trying to assassinate Akane from the very beginning? She's always been there trying to kill her. And so she sticks with Ichiban because he because she knows that he's going to find her eventually. And then she's going to backstab her. We have no proof on anything Chitose does. You ready for this, Kasuga? It's pretty clear there's no other way out. Yeah, what a surprise. All right, let's throw down. Let's do it. Time to go all out. All right. Time to shake my booty. I love shaking my booty. Hello, it's me, Bootylicious. What can I get? shaking my booty i do imagine if you could shake your booty and just enemies died that's such like a power why are you so hell-bent on hating chitose she's a dancer video editor loves coffee can't get much perfect than that okay well let me flip the question around why are you so hell-bent on loving chitose Because she's hot? <laughs> Don't you see? Chitose is you? Yeah, and you know what? You shouldn't trust me either! See? <laughs> You shouldn't be trusting me, you shouldn't be trusting Chitose. Sure, I'll play with you. Break yourself! I find you to this place. She's a dancer, a video editor, loves coffee, loves hi-fi audio stuff. Sorry, follow my lead. 
that's great, but like, you know, people, lots of people love different things in life, but that doesn't mean that they're good people or good friends, you know? You know, I, you know, I could have in common with a murderer that, you know, we both love reading manga, but at the end of the day, he's okay. still, like, you know, the b bad person. I guess it's very situational, I shouldn't say that. Booty pop. I won't take that. Chitose is pretty. Are you saying we shouldn't trust pretty people? Oh, never trust a pretty person. Never trust a pretty person. Jesus. That was severe overkill. Wow, they really want Kiryu's ass. Same. Okay, I'm up. If we can't trust pretty people, then we can't trust me. Oh, damn! Fine. Well, I mean, I'm saying you can't trust me either, but I'm not saying I'm pretty, though. That was to the earlier point, not the pretty point. sends hella good vibes despite her being sus. I don't. I think she is going to turn around and murder Akane as soon as we meet her. Learning more every day. Who do I add it in me? You take a break. It's not gonna go well. Why is everyone chasing after Akane-san? What do you plan to do once you find her? We're just just doing what we were told. I don't know the reason. <laughs> But I do know what we're gonna do to you. Say what? No matter where you run, where you hide, we'll find you, we'll slice you up till there's nothing left. Bro, that's fucked up. <clears throat> oh, Kiryu, shut him up. Damn, okay, okay, that ass though. Mm. You don't have time for that kind of talk, Kasuka. If I had a guess, these guys are just grunts. They don't know a damn thing. We'll be in trouble if more of them come. Better move while we can. I'm sorry to rope you into all this, eh, Chan. No way I can leave you alone now, though. Mind sticking with us for a while? Sure. Forgive me. That wasn't my plan. We should head back to my room for now. Let's get a cab. We're going to Kiryu's room again? That's my favorite place to go to. Goodbye. There's taxis around the parking lot to the south. I'll go down and put, it, put us in the queue. In the meantime, you should be prepared in case the Ganze come back. It's the least I can do to help Thanks. pass on. I'll get ready and come back as soon as possible. I should grab what I need, then hurry back to Achan. Oh god. Yeah, this seems like a big cutscene. Big battle sequence cutscene that we're about to go into. That's the, That sounds like some deep shit. So you know what I should do? In the meantime? Okay. Um, I'm gonna get off stream. <laughs> and I will see you guys tomorrow! How's that sound? <laughs> My island may or may not be completed by tomorrow, but I do gotta get work done today, so I cannot play all day today. <laughs> all right. Well, I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow for a stream where we actually probably finish chapter six. We'll finish chapter six for sure tomorrow.
And reminder, no stream on Friday, so tomorrow will be the last stream of the week. Also, watch You Laugh, You Lose because Lee's in it, and she's our first guest appearance, which you guys totally thought I was lying about having a real-life guest. Well, watch You Laugh, You Lose. Okay, bye. <laughs>